What is up, people? I do apologize. Uh, but don't worry, I had a shitty ass night. So, ran out of gas. All the way to the store. Fucking pancakes are cold. Fucking ridiculous. Damn it. So, with that said, I'm not in a good mood, which kind of makes this all even better. So, um, again, it's going to be open topic, open, uh, open panel like you know because last time i didn't have one and i kind of feel bad um hopefully aaron will show up because i can apologize but nonetheless um let me go ahead and get this set up hang on one second um one of the big things i wanted to do is discuss whether or not oh before i forget let me say what's up but i'm not going to go to the top of the list because i know i was late and people are just talking shit what's up jose Flip flopping. What's up, Angle of Attack? Angel of Attack? Uh, Digital Demonic, what's up? Mandela Brat, what's up, Grizz? Good to see you here until it's time for you to leave. What's up, Sean Smith? What's up, Hannah? What's up, Dark Seed? What's up, Trisp? What's up, Jason? They and them. And. Erebus, aka Bearded Devil. What's up, my friend? Soul Survivor. Oh, God. Hey, what's up? I think I said it. What's up, Amy? Hey, Amy. Ar Arectus. Arectus. What is that? Some little kid in the chat. He knows who he is. Um, what's up, Mr. P? Hey, what's up, Mr. P? Long time no see. And I think that is it. So we will continue on. All right. So um, one of the things I wanted to discuss is uh, is the, the the globe versus flat Earth idea of how things work. Um, I, it's it's odd, but I can say for sure um, when I was a flat earther, um, I I took a lot of flack for a lot of the beliefs that I had uh, that were not quote unquote mainstream flat Earth. So um, it it was I saw parts of this, but now it's definitely worse than ever. Um, flat Earth, you know how you know. Well, let me let me lay it down for you. When I first came around, not knowing anything about what was going on, I what I witnessed was you know Glovers talking shit, trolling, and doing whatever they could to mess with uh, flat Earthers. Well. As time grew, um, I guess, I, I guess, I don't know when I didn't see exactly when it happened and you're welcome for the elephant, Amy. Um, one of the things I started noticing is that flat earthers got basically like Manny militant. They, they, they yell, they scream. They definitely don't want to hear a damn thing you got to say. Um, kind of like, you know, when a flat earther goes to a, a, globe server or, or stream right same thing um so it is both sides but what i did if you guys look in the top right of your screens there is a little i button if you hit that button it will you'll see a video one of the streams and then you will see a poll i want to know who trolls the most globe flat earth or loudy you let me know so, with that said, let's get into what, we're, what I really want to talk about. Um, here's what I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to open the panel. We're going to do open topic. And then at some part, if we get slow or I just decide to, I'm going to play a clip of exactly uh, the militant act of... We'll see what side it is. Uh, here's the link. Again, sorry about the late start, guys. You guys can yell at me all you want. Okay, here we go. There's the link. Let me get all that fun stuff up here, because, like I said, I was messing with my OBS last night, and uh, what can I say? I uh, always fumble with something. I think that will kick it over to uh, the one I want. And then I can get the panel showing up right here. Everything keeps switching. There we go. There he is. What's up, Sean? How you doing, sir? Doing pretty damn good. 
Let me see. Oh, there you go. Now everyone can hear you. Trying something new in my OBS and I'm not liking it. You like playing around with the OBS. I do. I do. Always have something different happening. And I want everyone to notice this right now. Ready? The earth is spinning in the right direction on my screen. Wow. Uh, everyone's here. Well, for reminded, I do plan on playing it, but only not even because of the op I mean, I played that last week. I've played it, I think, about four or five times. I think it's an upload by now. But um, your boy Bong, it, it will be a feature in today's stream as well. How you guys doing? Doing good, Sean. Now, I'm not going to lie. I have no idea what happened with Spurs today. Because I, I was, like I said, I was at work. I, I couldn't, like, I tried to talk at first, but I realized my mic wasn't, I had to do the setup, and I just couldn't do it at the time. So um, I got to just listen in, which is odd, because I like to talk. Um, all I heard was, and, and I missed the part of what happened. All I heard was Jose ripping into Sleeping Warrior and, and Spurs. Well, do you want the full explanation or just a partial? Because uh, I, I can only kind of recap. Uh, the Sleeping Warrior part, uh, I'm not really sure. I kind of popped in right about then. But the Spurs is all coming off of, um, off of uh, something that he put into a YouTube chat or something like that or left as a comment uh, about four years ago. Um, uh, <laughs> but it, yeah, but it, it was, uh, it was pretty bad. Um, it, it was, yeah, anti-Semitism and, and things like that. So it was, it really wasn't good. And, uh, oh, so okay. I kind of, yeah, about that. okay. So yes, I'm so that's, in... that's, that's kind of, that's kind of what it is. Oh, okay. Then I know, I'm pretty sure I know pretty much exactly how, how it went. But um, better yeah. yet, he I'm wouldn't confirm or deny it. I, I'm pretty sure I have a recording of Spurs talking to Nazis. I don't know for sure. I gotta check still. I'm still looking. But I am saying I have heard him talk to Nazis. Isn't he like not white? You can say it. Go ahead. It's all right, digital. <laughs> <laughs> he's say black, it. isn't he? Yes, yes, he is. And oh he's talking God. to Nazis. I was gonna say he's about as about as white as Sean is. No, no, no. He's definitely darker than I am. <laughs> I'm, I'm just saying. I have a lot, dude. I'm a very mixed. I'm a mutt as it gets. You would have no idea what I was. What I have most. I mean, it's crazy. Anyway, <laughs> we digress. But it's okay. You're allowed to say black. <laughs> Thank you, Sean. As long as it's like, no, like, when people say stupid shit like the N word, like, dude, just say it. Like, you you already said it. <laughs> yeah. That's the fun part. I, like I couldn't that. get around it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought it right away, so it doesn't work. <laughs> I'm not three years old. But, um, yeah, Spurs is a special character. Um, this is why I know he's a Seiko salesman. Again, like I've, I've said this a thousand times, I've known Spurs for, unfortunately, the three years I've been around. Uh, unfortunately, I, I share a mod role with him in a server, and he does th that ranting, this mumble rant bullcrap every day for two hours at around uh, 2 a.m. my time, 3 a.m. my time. He's in the U.K., but um, yeah, I hear everything you guys have heard. I've heard that months ago three or four times and it's been debunked trust me like it's been crushed spit on and thrown away that's why i keep telling everyone stop talking to him like he's just flack it's like just bird poop but i think that's what uh jose has, has basically established so my i'm i'm happier every day that i hear shit like that happen Yeah, he w he was trying to blame it all on 
people on Discord putting it up or something like that. But it, it, apparently it came out before Discord was around. So, you know, he tried to put the blame on everybody else. Oh, yeah. That, that's, that's Spurs. Usually what he does at the server, I don't know if this sounds familiar, what he does is this. He gets everyone all worked up. And then he'll notice there's a flat earther and it like that joins the the disc the server uh, or in the server, and he'll go, "Hey, so and so, take it on," and then disappear. I'm pretty sure everyone who's talked to Spurs has got the disappear act from him at least twice. <laughs> That's what he does when he knows he's wrong. Yeah, well, it's either that or he he'll disappear because. He knows that he's going to be trapped into a, into a corner or something. He's oh, yeah, yeah. pretty good at getting out of a corner, but you know when he gets to that ultra trap trap point, he either doesn't appeal to authority, which is usually usually the uh, the person running the chat, or he will uh, appeal to a uh, peer. Yeah, he's he's a special breed. Zero information, zero facts, all snake oil salesmen. Yeah, and Travis doesn't back him up either. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm not sure if you noticed it or not. Like, there's, like, I'm starting to see, like, for a long time, I was like, why aren't Flatters, like, saying shit about these con artists, basically? Now, I'm not saying Travis did this, but I, this is why I like Travis. He doesn't like the troll aspect of Flat Earth. So, like, when Aaron starts his little troll act, I've heard Travis tell him to shut up. I've seen Travis go, wait, 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 wait. Why, wait what are you talking about? Two for Flat Earther. Those things are, I like. Those things, th they say, at least you're a thinker. Now, Travis obviously has a special place in my heart that irritates the crap out of me with that damn ether ban. I'm sorry. Atmospheric optics. Cause that's all it is. That's... He hasn't gone further than that but more importantly if there's zero information god damn it flat earth why just kick these fuckers away spurs should not be around at all sean yeah last night after after uh was it last night after after the stream ended mm -hmm. i sat around with travis and aaron and OK Go for Ooh. probably two and a half hours. How was that? It was actually really good. Wait, um, wait, wait, wait. Was Aaron being... Aaron, Aaron was Aaron was sober, Aaron. Okay. Aaron, that Aaron, he's like my best friend. He's awesome. I'm not going to yeah. lie. I, I've talked to him. I talked to him for at least two and a half hours one time, and it was literally a completely different Aaron than anybody sees. Yep. Yeah, it was a it was it was a good hangout. We just BS'd and talked about uh you know, state land politics and you know, just BS'd about everything. Yeah, I, um, I wish I wish but, Aaron acted like that. Yeah, but I uh I brought up localized atmospheric conditions and uh brought it up to Travis and said, Look, while you're taking a picture from here to two miles away, there there are uh, there are you know while it looks clear where you're at. Yeah, Sean, yeah, Sean. Digital, you're sure. your hot mic, and can you uh, mute yourself? Oh, sorry. Yeah, I, t I, I told him while it's clear where you're at, a mile a mile across uh, where you're looking at, it could be a different atmospheric condition altogether. Yep. So you know, uh, he kind of took that along with everything, and you know. It was a it was a pretty good uh, conversation, and, and that's why I like Travis. You can have a definitely good conversation until you pin him on something, which is okay. Because believe it or not, I would rather have a conversation with somebody, typically a flat earther, where there isn't any pinning at all. Believe it or not, because that, that's I want to have the conversation. I want the conversation to go long. I want as many facts and be and fucking beliefs. What I don't care. I want everything out there, so that way you can assess what they're saying, assess where they've gone wrong, where you may have gone wrong, and maybe learn something. But this whole 
Like I could seriously, I can run around doing this all day. Lunar eclipse, boom, go. I'm not gonna have much of a stream. I'm gonna piss a lot of flat earthers off. I'm gonna piss a lot of people off. Cause that gets annoying. You know, the more the more information you get out there, the better you know, the better you feel about it too. Hmm? Oh yeah, every tr trust me. There's no. There's like I I haven't gone back and forth with seek and find about gravity forty five times because I like repeating it to him. I get to like every time I do that, it just sinks into my brain more. That indoctrination, quote unquote, that Earth is doing it. You're the ones making us repeat ourselves so that the stuff that we do learn, thank you, implants into our brains and never goes away. But the difference is, is that our indoctrinated ideas are backed by evidence, observations, repeatable, all the time. I mean, everything's, exp not everything, but most of, everything we talk about or try to explain is explained enough that you should understand how that situation works. Not the shape, just the situation. We should have a bunch of flat earthers that understand how just things work. And stop assuming it's the globe way, and maybe it's just the right way, and the globe is an outcome of uh, those observations. I mean, can a flat earther tell me different? Well, I think so. uh, they they think that we learnt all this stuff we know about about space and the globe in school. Yeah, we learnt some of it, but some of us have been out of school for twenty plus years. We yeah, learnt most of our shit. We, yeah, but we learnt most of this shit out of school. Mm, oh, I learned everything you guys are hearing from me. I'm going to tell you now. It's from now. It's from the past three years. Everything. There's those bits and pieces that you know, you learn over the time, or from school and all that. I barely remember. And those are like the basic crap information. Trust me, I don't think I've ever even used any of the stuff I remember from school. The majority of everything I know now is from the past three years. And it's not just repeated in, in, in my brain. I, this, is, this is the reason why I, I was a flat earther for so long. Because I, everything I learned, or everything I was taught or explained to, I went deep to find that if I could understand it. That's the only thing that took me so long. That's a lot of people didn't get that. Like, I, I knew the moon was 239,000 miles away. Well, then how did you not know it was a globe? Well, that's not globe evidence. That's just knowing a distance is something. As far as I was concerned, but everything I do know is understanding, not indoctrination, not repeat and peep button. Because if that's the case, seriously, Flat Earth, think about it. I'm not calling anyone out. Just 100% think about the information you were given and who gives it. And if the information you have that you think is Flat Earth evidence, who did you get it from and who did they get it from? That's the issue. There is no, there's no, you know, wheel of, of education for it. So to say we're wrong is disingenuous. You can think it's flat earth. You can think the globe facts or, or evidences are, are fake, hoax or whatever. But show me what makes it flat earth. I'm, I'm definitely ready for answers. Um, pretty sure you guys had enough of Jose getting all angry, but this is where you end up. You think the Globers want answers? What, how do you think an ex-flat earther feels? I want, I want to know why I'm a shill, I'm a sellout, and all this crap. Show me what I was missing. Because if you can show me flat earth evidence something that actually contradicts the globe yeah I'll, I'll go back problem is is my understanding of this means I know we live on a globe I know there are observations I can make on a daily basis that will tell me this I know that everything I'm see, I see and hear and investigate, research, and do my best to look into for flat earth either is too grainy to see. 
just in, it just doesn't do the observation justice. I'm sunrise sunset. Every time I've seen every show me a flat Earth sunrise sunset explanation that the quote unquote source of light isn't trailing from a straight line on a table with a camera on the table. It's not. I don't see it. And that that's very true, MG. Very true. And you're. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. I, the the crux of this whole getting a little angry. You guys are gonna see how far how ridiculous it's gotten. Cause it, yeah, it's ridiculous. But anyway, I digest. I was ranting. I apologize. Hi, Barney. How you doing? Did you just say you digest? What? I said I digress. <laughs> digress. And if I said digest, <laughs> I didn't mean it. I meant digress. Uh, that's because I'm eating pancakes. Ha ha. Well, I digest. <laughs> I digest too. I'm surprised you didn't check no, but, out. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, yes, but if, if they did what you just said and if if they approached it the same way then there would be no flat earthers right you can i as much as i try to to kind of give um leeway and accept understanding and stuff like that from like differing understanding all they are doing is raising um, how do I say it? Unprudent epistemic uncertainty. Um, basically, doubt. If they can raise doubt that we know something, then that is sufficient to conclude that we can know the opposite thing. And that's not how it works because you can, like, you have to deny all of science, all of mathematics, all of reasoning all of logic to to conclude that that the earth is flat if you start off with something as simple as optics right like the basis of my of how my glasses work as described by optics as demonstrated by the the sugar experiment stuff like that it's not even if that is correct but if that accurately describes reality then the Earth is necessarily round, because otherwise we would see a different thing that we see. If gravity, like if everything that they say about gravity is correct, that gravity isn't real, isn't a force, isn't demonstrable, is just accurately described by those mathematics so that it works, that's still sufficient. You can still, from that fact, deduce and when I say deduce, I mean um, literally show that if we can describe it by that function, then the Earth is necessarily round. Now, it, that is not like if you if you go to the philosophical sense of the word proof in the mathematical sense of the of the word proof, that is not absolute proof. It could still be the, the skeptical scenario where there might be a demon um, affecting all of my perceptions about the universe. I might be a brain in a vat. I might be a Boltzmann brain floating somewhere in the universe and just dreaming all of this. Right? All of those cases are kind of philosophical possibilities without contradiction that cannot be disproven. And because of them, I cannot, with absolute certainty, prove any of these things. But within the world that I perceive, within the world that we all perceive and agree that we perceive, if you agree that my glasses work and, and change my, um, like, um, affect the prescription of my eye, if you agree that lenses on a camera work, if you agree that that can be accurately described with um, indexes of refraction, 
then you can prove, you can from that, if we agree on that, on those simple everyday things, then from that I can prove to you that the earth would look concave if it was flat. That, that we would see the, the, um, everything rise into the distance. And that if you see it ever showing a horizon and refraction exists in the universe, then it necessarily has to be some kind of round. <laughs> right? It has to be some form of a sphere. I, I definitely noticed that. Um, one of the things I noticed was um, when you dig deeper, this was, happened when I was going back and forth with Chris. I, as I go deeper and deeper into the, the ex explanations for refraction, you start coming to things like uh, the curvature of the Earth and the, how the atmosphere and the electromagnetic, like how those things are shaped is why refraction hits and why light, the light frequencies hit the way they do. I mean, it's, it's a lot left out that should be looked into. You shouldn't be stopping at, oh, it just does this. And I'd like to say thank you very, very much, Amy, uh, for the super chat. Uh, she says, thank you for the streams. Please keep up the great work. P.S. Thank you for keeping the elephant. <laughs> You're welcome. Elephant, elephant in a hot air balloon. What yeah, the hell? It's not going anywhere. He's here to stay forever. Yeah, nice lighthouse too. Yeah, oh man, I got a bunch of good nice backgrounds i know i don't know if anybody I, i'm happy that you guys noticed it because uh man i probably uh, i got like probably 60 more last night so yeah was, you guys can see a lot of different backgrounds in the next couple of weeks yeah uh ali b got butt hurt over what now oh he's just being a drama troll well that's what he does so we kicked him kicked him from where <laughs> <laughs> from Allen's. Uh oh, was he doing when this recently? Uh it was after Jose's. Oh, okay. Um that's surprising. I thought he wasn't gonna he he swore he wasn't doing panels anymore. Yeah, well because, because he came he started, in. He started doing his live stream again. Uh and I'm uh, his you, his rants. Oh, I'm I'm sorry, I love him. That's what inspired me when I first started. He's that's he when I first started uh streaming you used to live stream all the time like that. And it's just to be able to rant that way. It's awesome. Uh, Hannah, thank you very, very much for your super chat. It says, pay up ass. Uh, cheers, Sean. Oh, okay, they must have been something <laughs> in the chat. <laughs> thank you, Hannah. I appreciate that. Uh, how did it go? Okay. Um, at the end of Jose's, he when he said his um, final message, he goes, oh, you guys believe in aliens, but you don't believe in a flat earth. What the fuck? Well, it's like, um, hang on. It's more likely that there's alien bacteria on another planet or a moon out there than the actual planet being flat. <laughs> and then, a, and then he just... Way, but that's not true. I don't know. Can you... Barney, he loves doing this. Could that be a true statement? Given by one of us? <clears throat> yes. Okay. Just just asking. There you know. go. You got a I yes. Know. Okay. <laughs> Which means it's probably no. <laughs> <laughs> he can't deny it because he, he, he couldn't um, back up the no. Yeah, exactly. That's how I feel about it. Bernie, stop. Cause, cause... All right, everybody, everybody who's a naturalist, who's a physicalist, right? Um, if, if for any reason you believe that life is merely very complex chemistry, then it would seem to follow that some kind of life would be... exist elsewhere because... All of the universe is governed by the same laws of physics, and chemistry is just basically physics, and biology is just basically chemistry. 
But when you say it like that, Barney. Yeah, that's a lot of beliefs. Yeah, it is. Right. And I, I could be persuaded otherwise with a persuasive enough argument to the country. To the contrary, I haven't run into one yet. Is that a science, so-called scientific belief? Th that's not a scientific belief. That's uh, an assessment of probability based on available information. Statistically, I mean, sti no, no, statistically. No, 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 no. Per personally. Well, I mean, in in my eyes, statistically, you know, we, we can't be the only one. Uh, I mean, it, whatever whatever alien life form is out there, um, it could it could have fourteen legs and thirty six eyes, but this statistically speaking, there has to be some sort of other life form out there. The universe is too big. There's too many planets. There's there's so many different variables that go along with it. There's it's just statistics to me. Well, yeah, there's, creatures there's, here. there's a there's a contradiction in what you're saying. Yeah, I was, you're saying statistically there can't be. Well, no, there, statistically it is unlikely, or statistically it is probable, but statistically we can be the only one. Is the chat getting triggered yet, Sean? Not 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 quite. Not quite. Not quite. Almost. In my minute, I, they will. They will praise you. Um, yeah, Barney, that's an interesting belief system. What, what do you base that off? Just what you've experienced in life? Yes. Um, I, I have rejected literally all supernatural claims as um, either dishonesty or instrumentalism. Well, let me ask you a question real quick. What do you define as supernatural, Barney? Um, something that is not governed by the actual laws of physics. Would you consider maybe the, the, the idea of a cosmic Big Bang a, a supernatural idea? Um, well, a, a cosmic Big Bang is a very broad and general term. There are supernatural concepts of a cosmic Big Bang, and there are physical concepts of well, what do you? What would you determine that to, as far as your belief system of origins of the so-called universe? What would you tell me yours is personally? Um, I I am undecided. I don't know. I'm curious to find out. Very honest. That's are you agnostic? What do you consider yourself? And just an atheist, or just maybe in in terms of religion, I'm a positive atheist. I'm a physicalist. I, I cannot be otherwise. Wow, but very honest. I've never heard uh, an, an atheist, you know, admit that you pretty much you're guessing at the origins. Though you admit that, you know, there's no evidence for the origins. There is no there is no evidence what the origins are. That well, there ah, um, we can bicker about the meaning of the word evidence. Yeah, don't fight me. Huh? There, Come on. There is there is no yeah there is no conclusive there is no conclusive evidence. Either way, right? Even wow. if you take the, the physical theories. Yeah, like, see, I'm, I'm no a psychopathic fundamental Christians. I, I, you know, upset a lot of people. I'm one of the real crazy people, obviously, that you might you might have met, you know, in your life that believe in the Bible. So I would I would be the polar opposite of that, right? Okay. So I would I would obviously make claims that, you know, that we have origins from God. I can just say God did it. Isn't that nice? Yeah. But that's pretty cool, though. I'm impressed by your honesty. <laughs> I, um, there are certain definitions and descriptions of God such that I can agree that God exists, and I'm still a positive atheist. Right? Um, wow. When you take, wait, wait, when wait, you, can you say that one more time, Barn? Say that one more time. I don't think. Did I just hear you correctly? Say that again, please. There are certain definitions and and arguments about the existence of god that i agree with that i would say that god exists under those wow. under under those constraints right? would you say, let me ask let me just skip right to something that's important that a lot of people especially flat earthers and we'll talk about their stupidity in a minute 
would you say that it is possible that the one thing that might prove God more than anything is the concept of our morality? No. Well, dang it. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, that again is down to how, how I understand morality and about morality. I have much stronger views than, than, than about cosmic big bang or whatever you ask. Well, I, <laughs> right? I go after where, well, then I where it to, is where I, I would say that. Them. Yeah. Tell me about what? it. Um, there, there are actual, I, I have hours of streams on my channels about that. If you're, if you're interested to go through it, but it is basically, um, the evolutionary theory of morality where morality is emergent as, as an evolutionary process itself. Well, how do you, um, well, let's thing, look at the, what about the, do you, th so you, you do think that we are advanced animals? I do think, yes, I do think that we are advanced animals so, and in, in another sense, advanced rocks. Wow, my goodness, that was, jeez, man, you are really cutting me off at the pass here. What now, when I just, man, you're, you're overwhelming me. When, when we look at the animal kingdom and we see the lion kill the, you know, kill the gazelle or the baby water buffalo, would we see, is there any moral issue to that? Um, that depends on whether you're looking of it from a human perspective or a lion perspective, right? That, that, is in some for, that is some form of moral relativism. I would say that, that animals definitely do have their own ethics and their ethics are, are reliant upon their evolution. Do you know that sharks, that certain kinds of sharks reproduce by rape? By uh, literal not, rape? I don't, I don't know if, I, if a fish can rape a fish. Is that possible? Can we get a, a can I phone a friend and ask? Because I don't know about that. Yeah, there, there's, the, it's non-consexual. It is, it is literally by physical assertion there. Yeah. Well, uh, okay. if, if we go, if we go, if the farther we go, go from us, the farther we go from us, the more the, the more extreme um, cases become. Um, you have insects which impregnate each other by literally um, rupturing their their abdomen and and squirting the. So it's it's even more. Hey violent. hey wait! A minute. Uh, Barney watched this. On the other hand, you know the beautiful black widow loves to eat the the. The, the male counterpart, which of course, I know this is going to confuse some people, especially flat earthers. There's no such thing as a male black widow, but don't confuse them too much. Um, so the, the, the female will kill the male. The, the Obviously, I would just call that a male spider. It's not a black widow. So that gets kind of technical. But that's not, I don't see that as a problem, though. I think it's kind of interesting how it works. I've, I've witnessed it myself. Yeah. I have a video on my channel. My channel is MG42 Pillow Box. If you're interested um, in that, you know, so I see the, the female Black Widow, obviously, that's kind of redundant, kills the male after the um, <laughs> the, the deed is done, correct? And that, that's, you know, talk about rape. Hey, that's murder. <laughs> yeah, exactly, right? So, and I would say that within within their sphere of existence, within their evolutionary pathway, those things are necessarily good because they couldn't exist otherwise, right? Um, when lions eat the cubs of another male when they take over the pride, right? That is something which propagates their species. That and is what about the cannibalism? What, what about what? the cannibalism? The male lion will also eat eat the cubs of the other yeah that, that's what i said you know, so the, the, it's cannibalism but they don't but it's not yeah. cannibalism to them though they're not thinking of it as cannibalism barney yes that's from from their perspective of morality from their perspective of ethics that is the best long-term course of action and taking the other course of action that right. the, the like resolving being a moral agent and acting otherwise would decrease the propagation of your genes. So that right. would be so prevented from propagating. What about these human cultures, which I'm sure some might exist? I, we've heard of this. I don't like to make claims about things I haven't observed personally, but I think we can all agree that cannibalism has existed in humanity. Now, if they're raised to think that's okay, are you telling me that it's it's technically okay? There's really nothing wrong with it, Barney. 
so the um yeah it's gonna be tough well, go ahead i'll, I'll give you yeah, a second. <laughs> it, it, it's gonna be tough there are, there are two points of view that i can take on that one is the objective point of view like the god's point of view right if if i step away from being human and just objectively look at everything i can say that there is no such thing as morality except what is inherent and and um um emergent from a certain culture evolutionary pathway uh, however i am a human and i am guided by those same principles and i do have a morality i am a moral agent for me yes it is absolutely wrong that they are that they are cannibalizing now, everything you in me God point of view though but did you say the god point of view what did you, you said god but i don't want to put words in your mouth what did you mean yeah by that? i i mean um the the what's it called um the veil of ignorance right the the ignore everything that you are and everything how you feel and just objectively look at everything as as just a list of facts how does the word God fit into that, though? I might, I might be a little bit ignorant to your point of view, because I'm obviously very different. Because, so how does God come into that? Because God would be, under some interpretations, omniscient, so he would know all the facts, and would be um, in, um, what, what, um, objective, right? He... he he wouldn't succumb to the failures of misunderstanding or ignorance or right. So whatever, whatever his position is, if he were to exist, would be the, the objective position would be the absolute now what, truth. Now what about the way, let, let's say that, let's use your term again, God. Now watching these people, let's just say they're in New York and there's cannibals in New York City and they wear really pointy white hats and they kill babies and they eat them or whatever. And God would, do you think God would look at those people doing that as the same as the male lion eating cubs? In essence, yes. Well, uh, you have is, to, from when, when I when I say right? no, no, when I when I say God perspective, I'm not talking about any particular God, right? I'm not talking about Jesus. I'm not talking about um, right. I, I'm talking about an omniscient <laughs> being. Um, you can also call it Pascal's awesome. demon, right? I'm impressed. <laughs> That's good that you mentioned Jesus. Thank you. <laughs> Go ahead. Right. I, I'm sure that that Christian God, Jesus, from Christian perspective, would absolutely consider that wrong, right? I think that Amen. Pascal's demon and an, an omniscient being would just note that fact as a fact. These people, the way we we kind of note that lions eat cubs, that he would note that certain people in New York eat other people. Now watch this. I bet we're going to agree on that. Now, if we see cockroaches eating baby cockroaches, I bet it's not going to bother us. When I when I see a, a male lion eating a, a cub, that grosses me out, let alone I would never, obviously, I'm not going to see a human do something like that. This is obviously going to go down a dark path. But if it's an insect, I don't think, I'm not going to care. Ants eating ants, roaches eating roaches, I don't care. Whatever. They're just little robots. You know what I mean? They're just self-replicating robot machines, basically. That's not a big deal. But as we go up this ladder right let's just use it from an evolutionary paradigm as we get to human beings i think we all know that we are i'm going to i'm going to use the word programming because i don't have a better word right now i would say that we are programmed from the from literally birth to to know that that's not right yes and and i would somewhat agree with you wow to, to that, i extent. really am shocked that you just agreed with that wow man barney <laughs> man i'm at a loss for words sean g um thanks for thanks for letting me be here this is the first time i've been on sean g's channel i've known him for a long time he used to come to my channel back in the day when i uh was running um 
when I started realizing the, the evil deceptions within the truth community, um, uh, specifically in Flat Earth, uh, fake Christians, things like that, things that I've been involved in, Sean would come over to my channel and he would even say, I don't always agree with you, but you know, he, this was when Sean G was a self-proclaimed uh, flat earther. And I think it was after I stopped doing hangouts for a while, or maybe not even, be maybe before, yeah, um, obviously both. you had a, a change of heart, right, Sean? Yes. It was, uh, well, was it? yeah, go ahead. I think it was, I think you had had the hiatus a little bit. I'd seen you around, talked to you a few times, and then you had just started back up streaming, I believe it was. Yeah, because it was a small, small viewing, but it, yeah, I remember you liked it that way, though. I, rem I remember I, when I first met you, you were very new to, oh, to yeah. the to the uh, the claims and i never even got a chance to really talk to you about this a, a couple of times i wanted you to be on panel i don't know why you never were what in, in the first place sean the, the curiosity um baffles me what what made you become this you know temporary short-term flat earther for a time being uh i didn't know what i was talking about when i got here <laughs> you know no, no, I understand that. <laughs> I want to go down. I want to go down that path real quick. Like obviously, most people go down this path on the internet, and they start getting into the high. I always talk about how flat earthers don't get high enough, so they start going into these ridiculous things about you know no you know no jet fuel hoaxes and magical yeah. forest trees and things like this, which of course are great deceptions, which annoy the hell out of me. And I mean, as a nineteen kilo, I used to put jet fuel in jet engines. And th now I'm trying to talk to people and explain this to them and they don't want to believe me. So I understand that it's not about the evidence. People, if they, if they really get high off of something, they love the crack. They want to stay high. But as far as what happened to you, was it somebody in particular that you might have spoke to? Or I'm just going to guess that you saw some YouTube videos. And, and just tell me a little bit more about that because we've okay. never had a chance to talk. What, what did you see that, that made you go, yeah, oh, the earth is flat. What happened? Okay. Um, it was... A combination of uh, being on panels, because I was on panels for a while before I became a flat earther. Um, I guess overall, re like I said, it was realizing that I didn't know as much as I thought I did, and I still think a lot of a lot of people come into this like that. Um, if you you hang out in Discord, you know this for a fact because there's a thousand and one Glovers that are fresh out, fresh past eighteen, and all they they know it all. And you, you hear them have these conversations, and it really opens your eyes to the, the lack of information schools actually teach. But in a sense, I think they teach you enough to get you, get you started into your own research, and, which we lack doing. Um, so again, I became a flat earther based on not realizing glo uh, globe phenomena were actually, uh, you know, depicted on a globe and not flat earth evidence and um just not just basically everything that was questioned by glover by globe no, scientists. No, content maker though it's not like you saw eric dubay's oh, no, 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 no. uh oh, you know actually the opposite um stuff I, like that no, oh, this no. Was late I, I, I never i never listened to i never watched uh debay never watched i never watched nathan the potato like i didn't stayed away from all those that stuff it didn't i didn't see it as information it's not something i could depict you know i could get take notes from and look was into any was there any one thing that you saw that was is there like an image that you saw that somebody showed you was it you know a balloon launch or something or oh. somebody on a plane or or some you know these water tests blow my mind i don't know why people are doing tests over the water when everybody can fly a plane for 175 dollars <laughs> but you don't remember one solid thing that uh, might have tipped you over tipped the skills? Uh, when I was told to look around, when I go outside, what does it look like? That was the that was the, the main one. That was my main, it is flat. Because when I look around, it looks flat. Remember. It still does. I mean, that's, well, that's even everybody. Is, admits that, right? But I, because I couldn't, in my brain, conjure up a globe Earth, everything outside my vision, out of my view, my optics didn't matter it didn't it didn't ever sink in so I, I didn't take into account that i see so little of earth that that flat that i do see is is, is minuscule it's a it's a dot yeah the planes it makes you wonder though i mean it, you, why do they call it planes you know what i mean it's because they couldn't see the curvature of the earth so it's obviously an old word term but actually if they've been talking about a globe earth for two thousand years 
you know, you, you get into this idea of why do they use this terminology? Then, of course, it transitions to an airplane. And then people talk about a flat plane now. Um, so I guess, yeah, the perspective is from the ground is very limited. Um, but uh, you never thought about maybe taking a flight and doing it, you know, doing some observations for yourself or maybe, you know, getting a little bit of gritty, oh, yeah. getting in there and getting your own. I've, I've been, I've flown quite a bit and it's, Without a tool, it'd be it's quite difficult to see the curve that is there. Well, you admit we can't see the curve from an airplane. I mean, there's no way, right? It depends on you can't if, see it. If you have the tool, you can. You can. Well, well, well. Tell me about that tool. I mean, I I have quite a few uh, pictures and, and videos from uh, thirty nine thousand feet. I don't think there's a tool that's going to make you be able to see the curve, especially when you have most professing you know globe specialists saying that you have to be at a hundred thousand feet. So if we're not even halfway there. We c we should be at least able to admit that we can't see any curvature. Hang on. Who says a hundred thousand feet? Yeah, I can show you curvature. No, all kinds of. There's, I I, there's a, that's the thing. Well, I mean. Many people have different claims. Like when, like when somebody mentioned these, this F word to me, flat earth to me five years ago, I thought I saw the curve um, from 37, 39,000 feet myself. I took photos on a flight from Seattle to, to Phoenix in 2014. And I remember taking a picture and even thinking to myself, I'm taking a picture of the curve. And so when somebody said the word flat to me, I said, no, 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 no. I have a picture of the curve. Let me show you. And I'm swiping through my photos and I go, oh, damn, wait a minute. And that's basically why I changed because I had realized that I just lied. I didn't see the curve and my own photos showed me that I was stupid. I felt really dumb. So, I mean, obviously you can go up higher if, depending on the aircraft, uh, but nothing really goes past 120,000 feet unless you're going to use a, a air, air balloon or something like that or hot air or, or these helium balloons. But nobody really has done that, you know, uh, I guess consistently enough or something, because obviously people are still talking about this topic for some reason. Interestingly enough. Oh, okay. Well, here, I think the the stretch of where you have to look and how you look is the issue. I can tell you. I can show you curvature at two hundred feet. I can show you curvature at. I think Well, you're going to gonna show me the effect. You're going to show me the proposed and supposed premise of the effects of curve. You're not going to actually literally see the curve. We're going to observe ah. the supposed effects of curves. That's what we were. That's something else. No, no you I, can see the curve from the surface of the Earth. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm that would that would not be possible, sir, and that's not, not possible. No, I have I have hours of footage, uh, thirty nine thousand feet. I'm going to show you right now. I'm waiting for it to pop up right now. So you, so you, you took the camera in the plane, Sean, and you, you saw the curve with, and you took photos of it. Is what you're saying? No, 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 not at all. Okay, you. well, you can't, well, Sean, listen, you can't make a claim unless you do it yourself. That's why I had to go back up and take more pictures because I wanted to reevaluate the well, situation. I'm not going to make a claim about something that I don't have that I can't show you. I have my channel's blood always finds level so i can show you what i've done but if you're not going to be able to show me something you've done then it's not going to work if somebody can show me something they've done it doesn't have to be you sean if they go up and they can actually show me the curve i'm more than willing to look at that but i've been looking for five years okay but so okay. what about if i ask someone to take a photo for me yeah that's fine if you can have somebody take a photo of the curve of the earth um, then I would accept that if they, you know, could repeat it. So then I would have to, if they did, and all of a sudden somebody was able to see the curve at a much lower altitude, I would have to then talk to this person because I've done this. I've taken about seven flights in the last six months. So, okay, so, so yeah, this, it's gonna be this, is, this image was an image taken by my friend B-Ball uh, with his drone. I think this is at elevation 100 feet. 100 feet. Uh, you know, you've seen this before, right? The test strip pattern. So, no, I, I don't. I don't think I've seen that actually, Sean. No. Uh, okay. It basically, well, how it's explained to me and how it works is basically, you know, there's stretching, compression, compression, and all that kind of stuff that kind of show different a attributes of a of, of a photo or a video. Well, this is a test pattern. Kind of trues what you're seeing. So, for instance. If I compress this image, anything that is curved will essentially will become far will be very curved, increase its curvature. Anything that's flat 
will stay flat. Anything vertical will stay vertical. So when I so you're up, saying because the image below the horizon, you're going to say that this box here, this artificial inserted box is flat, right? You're going to say it doesn't bend when you zoom in on it. Yes, those lines are flat. And if I were to compress it sideways, if those are truly flat, they will stay flat. Where you'll also see if I, if I compress it, the circle will become compressed, but in, it's curve will increase at the top and bottom at since we're going horizontal so everything will what do you, what's the damn word um exacerbate yeah that's the one yeah so over accentuate everything that will happen okay when press it. so so we're you're, well you're going to end up modifying the picture to show me curves so that's yeah. automatically going to be it's going to it's it's going to it's going to be null and void but compressing why is it <laughs> why because is it you're modifying wait, 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 you're wait, wait, curving wait. a str because you're modifying the picture you're curving no, 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 a flat no, no, picture no no, no. i'm not <laughs> i'm not yes. modifying it i'm just compressing it okay now you compressed it okay so we're okay so all right so now you've okay you've squished it from left to right okay but in, in that like like i said those lines anything that was flat stays flat anything horizontal that was vertical stays vertical circle it compresses more if you now notice but that horizon now it has curvature in it i can draw a line on it so you can see verify it right because you've modified the picture now it's curved no, 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 sean no, no. i know I, that's what i'm saying you can't see no, no, that's okay here's my point hey, sean modify. sean you can't see it right you can't see it unless you're modifying it no, so no, it's no. already I'm, null and void sean. i'm using a tool I know, Sean. It's it's you've modified the photo. Yes. No, no, no. I use the tool to <laughs> be able to make it to make to check my. You cannot. Photo. You cannot create curvature with linear transformation. Right? Yeah. The problem here is, is that because of light, you're gonna have you're gonna have gaps. You're gonna have problems. This isn't gonna this in a court of law. This would be thrown out immediately. Yeah. No, it wouldn't. Out. No, it wouldn't. Yeah. It, it was here. I'm gonna this yeah. pattern, the it, test pattern in there is it, kind of what sorry. what would make it admissible because it's it's showing against it. If it was modified, then that test strip would then be modified. That's it's not modified. Right. That's like saying because because right. That that's like saying if I so if I do this though, which is what you're seeing here is a modified picture so no matter what it doesn't matter even if i i've had some people take my photos sean and they turn them to black and white and i go don't do that because you're modifying the picture they go oh but you can see farther out i go no you think you can see farther out so even when somebody just wants to, to turn it into a um you know a electromagnetic or you know black and white picture to kind of eliminate you know anomalies and things like that that automatically null and voids my photography so any sort of modification to a photo is not gonna it's not going to going to be credible that so that my here's my point is that you can't see it with your eyes either way we'd have my point is we have to admit that we can't see it with our eyes we can't well, see the curvature well, that, that, level if, with if, eyes. If, we're, if you're going wait if you're going only by what you can see by your eyes then any photo is not admissible Right. Here's my point is that beyond photos, we can't see it. Remember, I'm telling you that I thought I saw it. And remember, I took the picture and I didn't see it. Now, when I go up, I don't see curve. Do you think that I'm seeing things differently now? Or wait. is it a different, maybe uh, a different wait, way of Wait, thinking? wait, wait, wait. Let's, you, you didn't close up the, the open issue. If you're saying that anything that is not identical to to what we can see with our eyes is not admissible then photos are not admissible at all then you can only trust your eyes because yeah, photos photos don't eyes. capture real color Co photos don't capture real field um, field of depth that your eye takes um you they're not bifocal there are multiple different kinds of images. Every photo is a, a composite of individual pixels, which is not how any how reality works. Okay, right? so I'm going to so point something out for you real quick. Look, you see this? You see the sky right here? Now yeah. I need you to blow the picture back up a little bit. You see how? I don't know. I go the do, do you see that there's? Is there? Is there a little bit more light on the? Do you see how there's more blue on the left side of the sky than there is on the right? 
Do you see how the, do you see how it's not just a perfectly like same color oh. sky, right? We, okay, there's yeah. a shade. Right. So because the light source is going to be lighting up our viewpoint, our perspective in a way to make that it look change, like when it's that compressed. That, I'm, I'm that sorry, make, that yeah, change the geometry. I know, I know you got to relax. You're interrupting me. My point is, is that you have more light on the right side than you do on the left, and that's what's causing this optical illusion, but the optical illusion is only present when you modify the picture, so that certainly isn't curvature of the Earth. So, and if, what if optical this was an illusion optical, is happening? Wait, 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 honest about this we would go to thirty nine thousand feet where it would be exponentially increased anyway which obviously that's not going to hang on you just made a claim that there's an optical illusion what's the illusion the illusion is when you're modifying and compressing the picture because the light is not consistent you're claiming that there's a slight bump in the middle of this but when no, i turn you're it, just I'm saying just, you're just saying what it is he let, him, no let, him, let him finish his answer yeah there's no curvature that's the point there's still no curvature to this picture and, and yet there, there's a, it's darker on the left side than it is on the right. And that's why it's confusing your eyes. So there's more light on the right side. So it's not an even picture. So I can so see the curve with the one eye. Right. Wait, wait, wait. So if we draw a line, so if we draw a line over it, we will not see curvature in the middle. It's not. It's not that's the point. Is that just there's more light on one side making it look like it. There's no curvature. Yeah, that's if that's that just an optical illusion, when we draw a line on that horizon... That there's no curvature. That's straight. the point. There is no curvature. That's why there's more light on the right than there is on the left. If this was an honest test, there's we would go to thirty-nine thousand feet, and it would be magnified exponentially. Oh Lord, he doesn't even. So if, if 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 it's an optical illusion, right? Then the horizon would still actually be straight in the image, right? And it would just appear to be it's curved to our eyes. But you when we draw a straight right but when we side? but yeah. but when we draw right. a straight That's line, right. that would that would dispel the illusion. That would point out that that there is no curvature, that the horizon is... Do you see how uh, on, this, on this photo of the horizon, which is, that's what we're calling it, right? There's more light on the right side of the picture. Do you see that? Do you see that? It's you're, darker. You're on, deflecting on, the question. It's not curvature. That's the you, point. You're there's deflecting no the question. Well, I mean, if you think the Earth is the size of Hawaii, you're going to have a lot of problems. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so if you think and, you can see at that altitude that's that's going to open up a whole can of worms with the misconceptions here listen i'm not pro flat earth i'm trying to help you guys realize that there are some mistakes in both both places i honestly cannot stand the flat earth communities so don't get me wrong here i'm a little bit different than most of the people you've talked to i, I used to work for the government i was a 19 kilo i've worked for the military industrial complex so there's some things that i'm going to be able to explain to you maybe to help you out it's not a big deal my point is we have to be honest that don't see curvature at the ground level or on the ocean. That's that would be ridiculous. You're the, you're calling you're calling on you me to be honest while def, while deflecting the question, right? Barney, there's no curvature. There's no deflection. Okay, there is no. Well, you have more light on the right side of the picture, Barney. Yes, I agree. So, optical. Well, let's say so I completely agree with you. I, Barney. I, Barney, take well, a picture of thirty-nine thousand feet. Be exponentially increased, correct? Yes. Okay, there you go. That's what we need to do. So we can't do. Listen, I'm telling you, flat earthers are stupid. Listen, flat earthers keep doing this bullshit on the ground. They keep going to these lakes and they what? keep going up on, on the ground and they keep saying, "Look at, listen, I'm going to do this both ways, Barney. It's the same problem flat earthers keep doing. They go to the lake and they say, "See, we can see this laser three miles away. I mean, what is three miles on the on a plane of existence? That's not even a speck on the map. That's stupid. That's ridiculous. Again." Barney. Like groups that want to go to the lake was all bullshit. You got to get up in the air to see it. My question was: If it is an optical, if it is merely an optical illusion due to the fact that it's lighter on one end and and darker on the other, just making it appear curved to us, then when we draw a straight line, the optical illusion will be shown to be just an illusion, right? <laughs> Well, that's the thing, Barney, is that the concavers say the same thing. They'll have a light source that's making it look like the di there's a dip in the middle, and they're doing the exact same mistake. The Earth is not concave. We can all agree on that, right? And that's yet they another do the deflection. Same thing. 
They do the same thing, Barney. So this isn't going to work. That's the point. Hey, I'm hey, sorry. Nine, Nineteen kilo. Uh, do, do, would you mind actually addressing what the question he's asking, as opposed to deflecting away to something completely? Yes, yeah, I already did. It's an illusion because there's more light on the right he's side of the picture. It's an illusion. You, but you don't have a basis for that claim. Yes, I can see that there's more light on the right side of the picture. What does that stuff guy? I'm mean? sorry. You saying that it's means more it's light. It looks like there's some sort of optical effect yeah. when you're composing the picture. What That's would, the point. That Do you think you look at the size of Hawaii, Erebus? Look, That's the every thing. Earth isn't that tiny, guys. Listen, I'm telling you, the flat earthers have the same problem. If this was honest, we need to. <laughs> no know one it. claimed it was that tiny. I, I, never, I never made any claims. But, I yeah, asked this is really you. I asked you a question, and the question is, and the question is, if it is merely an optical illusion, then we can draw a straight line on the horizon and see that there is no curvature, right? No, no, you're going to draw a straight line on the horizon, and the right side of the picture is going to be slightly, appear to be slightly lower because there's more light on the right side of the picture. That it's not curvature. No it's not a okay, big deal, but it's but it's going, going to be higher on the left side of the picture where it's not. It might be lower on both sides. It's not because of curvature. Ah, wait. So if it, you're th listen, you guys got to realize if I turn around, are you saying that the ball is going to be going down exponentially? No. When we turn around, we see a line around us. I call it a ring. If you do a 360 degree turn, you're seeing a ring around you. This is just common sense. You can't see, see any curvature. Listen, Neil deGrasse Tyson is right. He says you have to be 100,000 feet. Stop That's appealing probably to a celebrity. Closer. I'm sorry. I'm so, listen, I'm sorry, guys. Appeal this is to authority. This is, right. Here's yeah. the problem is that this is why flat earthers are going to win this argument because you think the earth is the size of Hawaii. That's why the they're going to win. I'm trying argument. to help you that claim. You're claiming this. You're claiming you can see. Where is the earth bending down to? Is it bending down to the left and right? Where does it go? What am I standing at? That doesn't make any sense when you see the horizon and you turn does the horizon dip down to the left or right when you're on the ground no that would be insane to make that claim this is because kilo, of like, you keep deflecting you don't have to call me hey, listen, the weird don't, you don't call me nice kilo i think you should use, be a little bit more respectful okay sir you can call me pillbox or mg or 42 or something else i don't need you to you're call me nice disrespectful by coming by calling you yeah. by your mls sorry yeah. son but that doesn't yeah, work i'm out. sorry noob I'm sorry, noob. Listen, uh, I'm sorry that you're new to this. And I'm sorry you just met me. Listen, if I showed you my scored, if I showed you my scores, you'll be really embarrassed. I I, I don't know what to tell you. Oh. You, you don't know who you're dealing with right now. I'm sorry. Why? Buddy. Why? Why, yeah. why are you acting like this? Okay. Well, because, because this he, because well no this person right here I think needs to stop talking to me. I'll talk to the people being respectful, but this person wants to call me 19 kilo. I'm just telling you my my job position that I used to be. I'm not a 19 kilo anymore. Yeah, but that's what okay, you that used was to be. What was okay. in the milk. You don't have to call You're me the one that. who dropped it. Respectful. All I did was pick it up. Satan right here. You have a face of Satan right here. There's obviously something wrong with you. You have some skeletons in your closet. I'm trying to help some people right Son, now. What would that's Satan look like? Okay, please guys, listen, guys, kids. Guys, 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 I just, guys, I just, guys, just want to point it. something. Let's I just want to point something out. Thanks for playing. Flowing. Yeah, the reason why we need to get past this. Let's go to a high altitude photo, and this curve will exponentially increase. So let's get off the ground. The, the reason why I pointed out the, the thing about the illusions, there are many illusions that can make straight things look curved. And there are many illusions that can make um, the same color look different. In every case of optical illusion, you can do something like align a known straight along the picture, a straight line, or uh, measure the color of the pixels and show what the actual values are. If the actual values are that it is straight, then the curve is an illusion. If you're invoking illusion, but that illusion is persistent when compared to a straight line, then it is not an illusion. <laughs> so in reality, if I were looking at this image, obviously, or if I was really there on the ocean and I turn, do you think the earth, I'm gonna see a ball? You're, th you're claiming that I can see the ball of the earth from 100 feet off the water. That's a serious problem. That's why the flat earthers are going to laugh at you. This is when they, and they're stupid. They're not smart, but they're going to win the argument. That's the problem. 
when you're doing something stupid like this. That's the problem. So I'm just trying to help you. You got to get up in the air if you're going to want, want to make any claims. Jaronism does the same stupid bullshit. Goes out and uses a laser, makes a fool out of himself because it doesn't prove anything. You can't stay on the ground and claim we can measure curve. It doesn't work. I'm sorry. Yeah, that's not what I'm... So here, Okay, so here, here's where the argument started off with yep. uh, to you. Is Barney, Barney, the point is we can't see it with our naked eyes. That's all I wanted. The, I wanted the admission from that. So you do admit that with our naked eyes without compressing this. We can't see curvature from 100 feet off the ground, right, Barney? You do concede to that, right? We from from 100 feet up, we cannot see it with our eyes. The difference hey, is too like, small. There you go. That's yes. it, bro. I'm agreeing. That's it. Exactly. We cannot see it, and this picture to be used as evidence would be foolish. And they, they, that's they, not true. That's not true because linear are, transformations, yeah. linear transformations yes. will keep all straight lines okay, straight. If you put a no. diagonal, it will stay straight. If you put a horizontal line, it will stay straight. If you put the, okay. a so linear Barney, transformation of changing the width of the image does not okay. change I a understand straight what line. You're, Barney, Barney, so if I take a flat table, we measure it out. I might even use a cr micrometer, a steel flat table off a workbench, and then I show you the same effect. What, what are you guys going to say then? What's going to be the excuse? <laughs> that your table wasn't straight. Exactly. <laughs> that wasn't straight. You will say hey, it's MG. not straight. I, I've seen, it's I've seen that straight. same bullshit you're talking about. AMG. I'm and sorry. Guys. You ever you ever sorry, buy lumber at the okay, at the hardware listen, store? I gotta go. Okay. MG? Hold on one second. Do you hear me? I yeah. just got called. I'm sorry, guys. Listen, I just got called. I'm a direct support care provider. I have a fingerprint background card, so if you want to call me direct support care provider, a uh, noob with the devil face, that would be a lot better. But listen, guys, you just admitted that there's no such thing as flat tables. This is when flat earthers win the conversation. You don't believe in anything being flat. I could show you with a micrometer, then you're going to say, see, it's not flat. And that's when the psychosis takes over, and you're denying that there's any such thing as a flat All surface. right, I held my question because you had I'll to back, go. I'll, I'll, but back, guys, since you I'll keep talking, uh, have you ever back. bought lumber at a lumber yard? How do you they, check to see if a board is straight? It's been fun. Um, please try to grow up and know that you can buy a plane ticket for $175 and we can do the observations from there. So I will be back. Well, everyone has that kind of money. <laughs> Thank you. Please. I will pay you. I will pay you and I'll go with you. Okay, guys, we'll, we'll, we'll do a little thing and we'll get some money around. We'll have Sean go right, up there. He just I'll wants go. to keep talking. I thought I'm he was sorry. leaving. Yeah, I'm trying to, you got you guys, you got to grow up. I know that you live on the internet, but you got to get a little bit more manners and we'll let people leave and let them do an outro. I'm sorry that it bothers you, but you guys got to get off the ground. Okay. You got to get a little bit of life experience. Sean, do you, I will see you again, sir. Thank you for having me. It's been a pleasure. Have a good one, my friend. Thanks for playing. Guys, uh, that is my friend, Phil Box. Um, Wow. I know the guy too. I've never really had a major problem with him, but you know, well, I mean here's the thing this, for me. This I, is kind I, of funny. I I actually feel exactly like probably Erebus does, but uh I I, I have this respect for the man. Uh I was explaining it earlier, he kinda helped me out in this situation before, so uh that's you know my reason behind it. I I'm gonna stick by it. Um but yeah, he's a special character. I, I actually enjoy having him on because he don't doesn't give a fuck. <laughs> right. Yes. Oh, your oh. damn pin. He on on one end. On one end, he seems um, eloquent enough, uh, reasonable enough when he's talking that that I can actually engage with him engage with what he's saying mm -hmm. but on the other hand he is i'm sorry but he's dishonest he doesn't he he deflects from questions he doesn't address points he just goes on on um what's the he, he Barney, he's a in, in, in rhetoric re rhetoric and sophistry <laughs> right that's and that's fine. That's what all, what flat earthers do. <laughs> Barney, he is a flat earther. Anytime he's cornered, he'll always try and change the subject. You know that. Yeah. Doing this he couldn't enough. substantiate the illusion that he was talking about. You know, you he go to the hardware store illusion. to buy a board. You know, you don't look at it from the side. You look at it down the length of the board, and you can see very fine bends in the board. You know, yeah, that's the same thing as doing a compression. Compression. Yes, and yes. nothing and is nothing perfectly, is perfectly flat. flat. The the no. the no. things that are in in, in um, our everyday world considered to be 
perfectly flat um, is called a toolmaker's flat or a toolmaker's surface, right? And yeah. even those things have a uh, uh, um, deviation which is acceptable. They are flat to a certain yes. precision. Yes, and that I've... precision is, <laughs> is comparable to the, to the curvature of the Earth. But, but to turn around and say, oh, I've taken photos from 37,000 feet, but the photo you're using, you can't use it, that's no. You can exactly. see curvature from 37,000 feet. Yes, you yeah. need, and, and you, you can a... see it, and you can see it with your eyes. And the difference yeah, you... is that your field of view with your eyes is almost 180 degrees. Yeah, you need, you know, at, at airline levels, you need, I believe, it's something like a 60 degree field of view in order to be able to see detectable curvature. Mm -hmm. And that's that's half of what we we can see. We can see at least a hundred and ten, hundred and twenty. No, well, actually, closer to one hundred and forty degrees. Hmm. But we have to go out and do it. It's always that that that's the new rhetoric from them. You have to do it. I can do it any day of the week, but you know the problem yeah, is is they they don't recognize what they're looking at most of the time. You know, I put up a yeah. photograph the other day and, you know, Gleam actually had a stroke over it. Well, I don't know what that <laughs> is. This, that, and the other thing. Yeah, I know. We spoke about that earlier, didn't we, Bob? Yeah. I missed that. What yeah. was it? Oh, uh, uh, it was just a photograph of some clouds at two different levels. And you can see the clouds are lit up at the upper levels and they're dark at the lower ones. You want me to see <laughs> if I can find it? <laughs> sure. No, Shonji, I, I gotta say, I, I, I love the thing with with um, linear distortion. Um, yes, that that will actually accentuate um, accentuate every curve in the direction of of compression. Left and right. Yeah. Um, yeah. Actually, I'm about to show an, a demonstration of, for one, how I did it, two, how it works, because in the chat there. They're saying basically they're saying it, it's you Didn't have to I send take you a, a picture. Oh, you sent me dozens of shit, man. I, I have so much, it's insane. But um Freeminder was saying you have to he was saying take a picture of this grid and then see if that does it and compress it. It won't, because compressing it like we're talking about does not change the lines of uh, the horizontal and vertical lines. Don't change. That doesn't happen. Yeah. So, just so you see how I do it, reminded. Look, see, I take two images, this image of the grid, and I put it onto the picture. Everything's fine. This is how it works. You can. It's I not. It it's or, not only the horizontal and vertical lines. Any straight line with yes. such a transform will stay a straight line. If you put a diagonal, mm -hmm. the the uh, the angle of that diagonal will change, but it will remain straight. Yes, I can actually show you that ex exactly happening with this one I yeah but that's the thing sean we know we know this works it's the other side of the argument that don't this one's much better for that one interesting there's actually there's like dozens of these things and i can easily just put this one in here yeah they call it a test pattern for a reason because it, it actually helps you uh, get perspective. <laughs> but by the criteria that he listed, no photograph would ever be admissible as evidence in court. Like, um, for example, um, human eye can distinguish about one minute of arc, right? Uh, or half a minute of arc. But if you zoom in, you can see more. That's not something that a human eye can do. Therefore, that photo is not admissible in court. Wait, what? <laughs> yeah. Uh, so I did it. I compressed it. Very, very easy. No matter. Oh, how, but you manipulated it. No matter how straight that line on the Earth looks, it's curved. It's still curved. Yeah. So if yeah. I even even when you stretch it out, it's curved. Yeah, so when I manipulate it, like they're saying, how come none of the graph 
lines are, are Bends. starts to curve. Because they're oh, straight okay. lines and the horizon is curved. For, I'm sorry for reminded. He says, "I'm not comparing it to anything else." I'm sorry. Here, here you go. There you go. That, that that's your comparison right there. Oh, look. I mean, curve and curve. We can move hmm. on to another one if you like. I mean, I, I did grab a couple of them. See this one right here? This is actually an image of that I've already spliced together so that the grid's already there. And I can still do it differently, so it's not like a, I can't. <clears throat> actually, no, this one is my favorite one. Look, I actually put two of them together. Oh, yeah. So I figured, you know, you would probably say that. So I, I got two different pictures to compare the observation. Reminded. Ready? Go ahead and compress them. Wow. Again, it, no matter what, if it's curved, it will accentuate. You, you'll see more curvature. And if it's... But straight lines won't. Just like on those grids that were there originally. Now, if you would like me to do that with a grid by itself, I can do that too. I mean, there's that. The thing is, with this one is, is that you're not going to get anything past anything on this one. It's just the way it is. It literally. Okay, so he says the grid is not a pick taken through a lens. Uh, it's a reference frame. Yeah, it's remember that. Yeah, free minded. We were talking, and, and this is what um, I was talking with Gleam about because he tried to show something, an example on on the stream. Um, Travis tried to say kind of the same thing. And here's the thing: in those images that I was showing, and I'll, I'll actually pull them up. Oh, Sean. Yes. You can actually address that point. Um, Google for an image of a straight ruler and distort that in the same way with the Earth. Okay. A straight ruler will stay straight. <laughs> and if it was lens distortion, then and, and, and then yeah, and then it's it is a photo of a straight ruler taken through a lens. So his argument. Is... Yeah. Also, if that optical illusion was there in the compression, it would have been there in the full photo to begin with. Exactly. And if it was just an optical illusion, you couldn't align a you, you could you could align a straight line to it and see that it is actually straight. Yeah, I reckon Erebus wanted to like do damage. Do damage Erebus. Oh no, I was gonna say if it was an actual like say lens distortion, it would be towards the edges, not the whole thing. It would <laughs> turn up or turn down, uh like at the very edges of it, not. And if you accentuate it, you would have just like a straight, and then it would be like a weird, a weird, like oh, no. accentuated curve. Yeah, but you're uh, just an uh, artist. What would you know about perspective? Uh, yeah. But you're 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 not taking into account the changes in pressurization and blah 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 blah. That's why airline windows act as fish eyes uh, at altitude, but they show things perfectly horizontal on the ground. You know, there's oh, I forgot, reasons. Sorry. Yeah, there's reasons, you know? Yeah, I forgot my fluff tactics. Gremlins. Yeah. I'm yeah. blaming gremlins. There we go. I, but I might deflection. actually have kind of a cool thing coming up here. I deflection. just got an email. They want me to go to, they want me to go to, uh, I guess, they want me to. They want me to go along with a trip of a bunch of veterans going back to the Battle of the Bulge next year. Really? Yeah. They. One of the guys here, that one of my fans. Yeah. Said, "We'd really like to have a doctor. These guys are really old, and there's over fifty of them." <laughs> God, do you really want to take that responsibility? Down. That's like babysitting like a hundred infants. Oh no, no, no! It's not nothing all like that. But, you know, I, so my my answer, of course, well, hell, my wife's a nurse. She'll want to go, too. Well, go. Do it. We might actually do it. I'd love, to go, yeah, I'd love to go to the battlefields and everything. 
to the 17th Airborne Division. Yep. That's just kind of, I don't know, that's just an aside. It was just something really neat today. I got to see if I can get a passport. Out of Sharon. Today. When are they supposed to be going? March oh. of next year. I know these photos, Sean. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, these look familiar. So, this whole reference frame issue. Um, again, I mean, here's the problem. Yes, in the first image, there is a reference frame. Truck. Yep. There is no longer a reference frame, but it doesn't matter. And this is why the reference frame means nothing. Because the, the, the photographer uh, the, making this observation purposely zoomed in to make the mountain angular size the same for one perfect reason, because it didn't matter. He doesn't care if you, what size that mountain is. All he wants to show you is that the mountain, the further away you go, the more or the less of that mountain you see due to obstruction. Now, the problem I have with what Travis uh, Glim Glim didn't really, but hey, regardless, Travis, um, well, uh, pillbox is the fact that in these images alone, debunk what you're saying. Because if that were the case, let me go ahead and zoom out. In, I'd say, let's see, let's find a really clear one. Ah, here we go. So, 59 miles. You should see far less than you see at 70 miles, where it's obviously a clear day. That's why optics does not, is not the curvature that we're talking about. Yes, optics do play a big part in what you're able to see at distances, but it does not create a op or blah, doesn't create obstruction in a uniformed way as you make di as you create distance it, from the top to the bottom and that is very important that I said that part well, well you can literally Sean, see you, obstruction right there yeah and also Sean there is there is a reference point from 59 kilometers down to 70 kilometers if you look there is a tiny little piece of i, I don't know what it is at, 59 kilometers but you can see that getting smaller and smaller and smaller so it's another reference point but you're oh, talking oh, about the part of the mountain on the right you talking about no no nope, 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 right down here. there on the left right where my yes cursor sir is. the problem with that one oh. is, is as you go through these images you don't see it see it and it kind of breaks apart in a few of them as well um i'm not 100 percent sure it's even a vehicle I don't think it's a vehicle. I think it's actually a tent. Possibly. Let me see something. Um, I, I just... Uh, yeah, but, but we see it. We understand the pictures. Well, the, the main thing to look at, though, that's going to give you this right here. This mountain, the one on the right. That, that one tells a thousand stories. And unfortunately for mm. Flat Earth, it, it literally tells the story of it not flat. Yeah, and these photos are taken on somewhere they said was flat. Yes. <laughs> no, we used, I got, I, the reason I have these, these observations right here is because they used these flats. And I, no, no, no they didn't use the, this, but it was the, these flats. And this was the, their argument. Yeah, the Bolivian Flats. Yep. Thanks, Montreal. Yes, it was Montreal. Yeah. I don't even know if the chat can hear that. Can the chat hear that? Shouldn't be able to. And if they do, I'll just take it off. Oh, yeah, they do. Oh, that's so cute. Dude, what are they hearing? Oh, P. Mars is trying to do the little thingamajigger with the bell. But the problem is, I mean, realistically, I don't really care. Yeah, see, I just took off my mind, so.
Or <laughs> now it's really pointless, <laughs> buddy. <laughs> and I'll just go over to my handy dandy iPhone and come back in there. Bow. Yeah, see, so sorry, P Mars. I know you had your heart set on that being awesome. <sighs> Let's see. The only thing missing is my charger for it. It's nice to see you've got an avatar now, Sean. Uh, oh yeah, or a picture. That's, that's my. Uh, that's the other account, or my other. Uh, that's my. That's my main account. But I guess the way these things are set up, your the main Google Meets, this new Google they have, yep. you can't use fucking you can't change the picture. It's fucking ridiculous. Oh no no no. Uh if you want to change that picture, go into Google itself and change it through your account. Uh, no, no, no. It's, it literally tells me it can't. <laughs> Sean, you suck. Jeez, thanks. Oh, hey. Is it, is, hey. It linked, is it linked to your, to your um, Gmail account? No, 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 no. It's a whole, it's like its own. But you got to remember when you, because I don't know if you guys did it, but I pay. I paid the 12, it's like twelve ninety nine or something like that. So it comes with like its own domain website type thing. It's, I'll show you. Yeah, it's like your own URL. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the one. I got to put my phone on the charger. It doesn't work. Yeah, Sean, Sean G, the only one with truth in his title that actually looks for it. <laughs> uh, I, I, have, I, have, I don't have to wait for me. He's actually, I wonder if Travis, I wonder if Travis is pissed off because JM Truth is calling his new movie The Plain Truth. The hell? Oh, really? I didn't know that. Haven't, ha oh, haven't you seen it? Oh, my God. Um, yeah. Uh, uh, JM Truth and Shelley have got a, uh, basically a poster board done. And, yeah, it, the movie is going to be called The Plain Truth, the same way Travis writes it. Ooh, burn. Yeah. Especially because it'll be terrible. <laughs> what did Travis say about it? I haven't, man, where am I when all this is going on? I don't think he knows. Oh, someone's got to tell him. <laughs> so, so is that going to go under the comedy section or what? Um, um, B grade somewhere? You know the ninety nine cent bin? They have that. Like at release. <laughs> it's like having a blockbuster. It doesn't even make sense. Oh, he wrote his own IMDB description for it too. You can do that? Yeah, yeah I reckon you can I reckon you could find it if you went to his website. <laughs> Oh, I, ju I, I just kind of want to see what the IMDB says. I refuse. I'm not sure if it was IMDB or Rotten Tomatoes. It was one or the other. He'd, he'd written the synopsis for it. Wait, one of those you can't. Yeah, one you can, one you can't. I'm not sure which one. Uh, let me see. But I, I know he wrote it and someone else took it and... Uh, uh, to put it through Grammarly. <laughs> what? Oh. <laughs> yeah. Jeez. Yeah. There we go. I had to put the link in the chat. George is out there crying about it. George, I was busy, man. Fuck. I'm running a stream. I'm not sure if you noticed or not, but I've been sharing a lot of images. Grow up. Damn it. 
<laughs> I guess Sean doesn't want me on the panel. I'm out of here, guys. Uh, like in the middle. You of, being like, mean, Sean? He, no. Okay, so I guess he asked for a link. Uh, it was relayed to me that George was looking for a link. I see it. I'm seeing it right here. And then I started presenting this stuff. So I was like in the middle of trying to do that, and then I noticed George was like, "I tried, and you don't let me in." <laughs> so hey, it, is, uh, is I put I put this in the in the the uh, side chat. Is this the one you're talking about? Because the synopsis is freaking hilarious. Uh, let let me have a look. Let me have a look. Yep, that's it. That's the one. I didn't lie. Oh wow. <laughs> oh wow. Isn't Travis live right now? I don't know, but um, I believe he is. Let's go find out, and then share this link with him. <laughs> no, he's not live anymore. But it's okay. I can get. A, I know where to find him. Just DM him. <laughs> yeah, or just t- send it to a Skype, Skype him. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I just love the the how the um the very first part of it. Where it says right on the right on the side of it, it says a couple of clowns spew nonsense. Yeah, but if you actually look at the picture on the poster, she's wearing high heels in a flight suit on the beach. What the fuck are you doing, Erebus? Is anyone else as confused as I am? Why? Look at... You don't see Erebus' screen. No. I'm not looking at YouTube or anything. Damn it, Erebus. Why do you have a bathtub going? Oh. Ah, uh, curved water. Ah. Uh, perspective is a bitch. <laughs> that was awesome. No, I, I I saw I saw one of uh, Travis's latest videos about a boat floating in the ether sphere, or the fuck you want to call it, right? And it it reminded me of something that, and I, and I had to t- I test I looked at it at work and it was really easy to, to do, but um, whenever. Uh, Water, you know, you see, you can see, like, in the, hold on, let me, all right, you can, you can see how the, it's obviously water, and it's clear. You just doxed your hands, sir. Take that same water (laughs) and change the way your, your, uh, your angle to it, and it becomes a mirror. Or a right. bathtub. Or a bathtub. <clears throat> and if the water's deep enough, right, where light begins to to fade, for lack of a better term, uh, that reflective quality, that in, well, refractive quality, at such an angle, would still present it at a certain distance, almost like a mirror. Kind of like a mirroring effect. Kind of like a refractive index? Yeah, like (laughs) inferior mirage? Sort of. The actual inferior mirage would be above, well, technically conjoining with that same area. That same, uh, given the same angle, you would have the same kind of reflective essence to it. And it's pointing towards the sky. Ah. So it looks yeah. Blue. Yeah, isn't that the diffraction index that one? When it goes the opposite way? Uh diffraction is when things get blurry. It's a resolution. When two lights become one. Same difference. Yeah. yeah. But I wasn't saying yeah, it's it, you, it, man. <laughs> oh, so the diffraction's like when you go cross-eyed and shit blurs. Yes. 
Mm, uh, kind okay. of? No. But more like being out of focus. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but you know how when you go cross-eyed, shit goes out of focus? That that sort of vision? Kind of, yeah, I guess. that's that's Well, it depends on where you put the cross-eyes at. Well, across my nose. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the whole thing. Uh, wait, imagine, wait, wait, yeah, wait, 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 wait. Wait, do you still have to put your finger in front of your face and then point to your nose to do that? You can't just make your eyes cross? Oh, I can, I can do it without it, but it's okay. easier if you do the finger. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Admittedly. But that's convergence. <laughs> that that's, that's eyeball convergence is when you bring your finger next to your nose. Wasn't that the same thing as crossing your eyes? Yeah. Again, same difference. Yeah, but it doesn't happen at a distance. Only at a closeness. Mm, <laughs> yeah. I- no, sort of. Your eyes are crossed almost all the time. Yeah, yeah, but not technically cross-eyed. Oh, well, yeah, a, yeah. At a hundred meters or so, you know. Right. Well, yeah. Well, um, well still, yeah, they kind of are. It's kind yeah, of hard to describe, but yeah, yeah, they, they yeah, lean inward. But yeah, yeah, so yeah they it's point. The reason why the stuff that's in between lines up with itself. Otherwise, yeah, they wouldn't. That's not line binocular up. vision. Right, yeah. If you close one eye, the, the, the only difference is the change in your field of view, and, and that's about it. Yeah, the still angular able... size is still the same. Yeah, and you're able to still focus on it. That's one of the reasons why if and, you look through a peep site, yeah, it, it doesn't really... Yeah. And, and also, uh, be happy you're not a deer or any other animal with eyes on the side of its head, because damn, imagine being cross-eyed all the time. <laughs> no, seriously, that's that's how they see. They see two different yeah, images. I it's know. not one image. I know. That's why they always have the, uh, the you see the head constantly going side to side is to check their field of view. Yeah. Well, they have blind spots: the directly mm, forward yeah. and directly behind. Yeah. Yeah. Why they're startled is either shoots them in one direction; they don't ever just go to the side. <laughs> They, they well, they never go on. forward. That's what I meant. God damn it. Yeah. I, I made the fact, man. I think I know. Yeah. Don't yeah, it was a good me. fact, Sean. It was a good fact, Sean. Yes. Erebus was just being pedantic. Yeah, <laughs> pedantic. <laughs> I don't even know what the fuck pedantic means. I just hear it a lot. <laughs> Nitpicky. Uh, picky, yeah. Oh, you mean... Oh, never mind. Uh, or an oh. ass. Ooh. Either way. Okay. <laughs> so, I think I owe you guys some stuff, like uh, hearing what angry sounds like. Um, oh, that's right. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, so, you said that at the start of the stream. Yes. <laughs> and that's, that's... I made everyone wait on purpose. So, here's what's happening. So, like I said, I... Uh, fucking, I don't give a fuck. If, everyone, if you have OBS, and you know someone with OBS, guess the fuck what. They record... A lot of shit and i record a lot of the conversations because i like to hear them hear them back and go over some stuff able to find sources and whatnot but more importantly uh where's my obs okay uh, hang on one second oh. yay i'm back okay okay my internet went off on the phone anyway um basically uh, i if i go to 24 7 I know what I mean. I pretty much know what to expect. Uh, Free minded there, and he's ready to go militant on me, even though we're friends. I thought, and then um, th- there's just a bunch of angry people, and it started getting me thinking: who's angrier? Um, I uh, saw so them. No, no, I would, say, I would say more like this guy named Bong. Yes. Well, I think he changed his name, but I know him as Bong. But the dude is angry <laughs> as shit. Hang on, I'm trying to... I'm getting to the upload right now. But I like I, I, I think... Free-minded, I know you're in the damn chat. Please tell me, how many heart attacks has this guy had? I listened to him last night. This isn't what you guys are going to hear uh, yet. But last night, I listened to this man berate somebody and yell at them until 
they, he, the person took a picture of their telescope. Shit, you not. Oh, yeah. That's um, it. So that's on it. a scale of <laughs> on a scale of Pete Shea, whereabouts oh. is he? Oh no, he's not crazy. He's just angry. He no, that's yelled. what I mean. You know when Pete Shea gets grumpy? Oh no, 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 no. That's that's bitch shit. That's nothing. Pete Shea is a pussy compared to the fucking Bong. Bong's a man's man. <laughs> Bong don't play. He's a man's man. <laughs> oh, you about to you about to get a little bit of Bong. Right. Hang on, I gotta pull it up. Make sure sorry. One. Like I said, I'm never prepared. Everybody always sees the same face of the moon. Devers, was... did you look at the trivia on on that um movie? Hang on one second, because uh, you guys can't hear it anyway, but I want to make sure I get to the right part, so... One second. Uh... <sighs> Uh, uh, uh. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Everyone can still hear me. Yeah, I'm, I'm finding it right now. It's not as easy as you think when you have just hours and hours of people just yelling at each other. I think it was... We'll try this. Nope, that wasn't that one. Hey, whoa. Don't, don't yawn. How rude. Yes. Yeah, you would. To, I mean, I so think just imagine. Find it. School, the only reason kids go off. There's no way. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, like we need to get a like a Mortal Kombat game. Hang on. Yeah, that was a little bit of that. But... Sixty thousand dollars. All right. Where's he gonna get that from? So I thought it was kind of ironic that we were talking that um, Pillbox was talking about a. Uh, he was talking about um, what do you call it? Evolution a little bit. Because this this one actually is basically a conversation about that in twenty four seven that was that last night. Now I'm kind of going to give you the premise behind it. This isn't the whole thing. I got this is like an hour and a half long. I'm just going to give you guys a small minute and a it half of be. this. Uh, but basically, there's one guy who believes in evolution, and a group or he's explaining to him how how wrong he is. Um, and at one point. I'll just let you you guys decide if this is aggressive. Ability. But like, oh wait, hang on, damn it. I gotta meet my mic. You guys Oh. Could you guys look at the uh, look at the integrating with others, others, right? Because you don't want to be punished, you don't want to suffer, etc. That's it's all utility. 
Yeah, I mean, we're basically robots according to evolution. We, you know, we have exactly. one prime directive. And so my point is this. Yes, my point it. is this. Or, I'm sorry, evolution doesn't give us like a direction in which like we we go. It's just like a natural selection method. Like it's random mutation. That's it. Yeah, no, that's <laughs> right, which yeah, has just think. proved the point, and Umwa has just, I mean, has I just see brought it to fruition. Um, listen, Umwa has just brought it to fruition perfectly. That the I end conclusion is that this idea that you have in your head about morality, etc., is incoherent with the mechanisms in your worldview. According okay, to you have something, you have something that exists of a necessity, self-evident to yourself, that's counteractive to your worldview. No, I could, I could, I could give you like an evolutionary basis for, for yes I could build yes you can and i just did it for you no no let's hear what let's no, hear what man. no it's not a straw man that. it's the explicit definition of the mechanism necessary to produce anything in the sequential generations period you you, you lost him when you first let, let me let me say this again let me say this again d e r i o d you have no other mechanisms you lost them. Really get what you're. You lost them at the really beginning know. of your argument. Yes, you, you don't get it. That's the point because your worldview is incoherent. You're it's not to rational. Originally, that that basically people who live in evolution are pieces of shit because. No, that's not. That's not yeah. what I said. That's dude, you, dude, you're so you're the. What? No, it isn't. Okay, well, maybe I misunderstood you. Now, hey, right. let me let me, let, let, let me try to get it this. Let me Wait, try to get it. To, can I, this is what he's saying. Good luck getting this is Predator to shut up. Hold on. This is what he's saying. Now, let, let, he's saying let, let 50 speak, though. Let's hear what he has to say now. He's heard us. I, I just want to be curious if I'm, like, kind of processing what he's saying properly. Now what I think you're saying, through evolution, we have, like, built these mechanisms into our brain that are responsible for the way we we function in society and but i don't really understand what you're saying about that or what it means or like i just don't get what you're that's all you're really saying is like evolution if you believe in evolution then you believe your brain has these kind of mechanisms in place to kind of process information and function the ways we function in society but other than that i don't really understand what your point is or what what you're trying to say the point is, at the end of the day, it's only the limitations of your programming. There's no incumbency upon you to follow them except in the express purpose of utility to yourself. For example, if it's more utilitarian for you to murder someone, then there should be no reason why you shouldn't do so. Aside from being a good human. <laughs> no, but good? Define good. I already explained it to you that it's purely a mechanistic process in your brain. What? Well, here, here. Hey, I, hey, I, let me just say this because I know what you're saying. Well, uh, what, I, what, I'm, what I'm saying and what I'm well, demonstrating on. here clearly is that his intuitions is defeating his own paradigm. Basically, tell let me, me that ask I would kill somebody listen. based on my evolutionary belief. No, I'm, no, 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 no. Wrong. 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 I should. No, what I'm telling you is if you allow your feelings to stop you from doing something that's utilitarianly in your benefit simply to save another human which is not going to be in your genome to pass down you're defying the entire mechanism of evolution you're I mean, basically I, deluded I understand what you're saying but I mean you're talking about like in terms of like pure mechanics like we're robots and we're not humans like people don't make judgments like that so I don't really don't understand what your point is Bingo! Stop! Everybody stop right now! What you just said, okay, is exactly my point. You are proving that we are not the mechanistic robots we would be if evolution materialism was true. I don't think that's what evolution says, that we're mechanistic robots. I think it... No, it, I don't care what evolution says, bro. I don't care. This is the necessary consequences of the mechanisms of creation in the evolution materialistic paradigm. <laughs> do you not do you not man. get this? Do we're having a good conversation here. Why are you getting so hated? AI, go on, AI. Go out, go out, I'm gonna simplify what you're saying, if you allow me to say it. So in other words, 
if you believe in evolution, what is wrong with Caesar, Napoleon, or Hitler? Nothing. Uh, why are they, the answer why are they is nothing is wrong with them. They're killing. Yeah, 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 yes. Yeah, yeah. That's They're what I'm getting at. There you go. There's your answer. I'm trying to simplify what you're saying. Unnecessarily. <laughs> so the people yeah, wearing... Uh, oh, hold, hold, hold on. Right? Uh, hold on. Let me finish. Uh, so the people wearing the Ku Klux Klan, the people wearing the Jesus Christ, the people, you know, there, there's nothing wrong with that. That just came from evolution. Yep. No. Yes. That's what you're saying. That's not what I'm well, saying. Is, listen, listen, saying. Listen, it's not, listen, it's not what you're saying. Listen. Right, we know it's not what you're saying. The point is, is that is what the evolution paradigm necessitates. You what you are doing is expressing... There's nothing wrong with Hitler. Right, but, th but then you're saying, you're saying it is something right? wrong. It is something wrong, and then you're borrowing, you're borrowing morals from another paradigm and then putting it into your evolution paradigm and thinking we won't notice the sleight of hand. Very well put. Uh, evolutionary basis for morals, I'm sure. No, but look I, at this. I already gave it to you, bro. I gave it to you, you and set it up you perfectly. Didn't, didn't even feel it. Well, then look, what's the problem? Imagine, this is the part you're not seeing. Imagine if your belief of being good is what keeps you alive, like acting good. You see, that's not what you're not seeing. That's your survival part that you, oh, that person's good. You know what I mean? Exactly. Okay, like I said, I'm an atheist. I believe in evolution. Like, typically, when I look out and see, like, a lot of people acting, I feel like they're acting, like, in a selfish nature. So I want you to tell I me... I uh, try and act, like, in a non-selfish nature, right? That's great. That's perfect. But I want you to give me a reason, an actual reason, okay? A real moral reason of why somebody shouldn't kill you. Just if it, randomly? If they, no, listen, if they deem it's nece if they deem that it's in their best interest for their utility in their life to kill you, I want you to make a case for your own life against that. Go. Uh, don't. You're a piece of shit human. <laughs> well, that'll work. That'll yeah. sure work. <laughs> <laughs> I think that worked on Hitler, and I think that worked on Genghis Khan. I would have to know the exact circumstance. Like, that's not enough. It, yeah. No, it's it's very it's very simple, dude. It's very simple. Why, Watch, why, I'll, why, I'll, why, I'll give it to somebody else. I'll give it to somebody else. Hey, I'm um, what? If you had yeah. to make a case for your life of why somebody else shouldn't kill you, based based in your own worldview, how would you do so? Because I would kill them first. Well, that's a good one, but but if you had to make a case, oh oh, like using words, you're saying? Yeah, like why is it that you shouldn't be killed? Because it's clearly in this other oh, person's best interest I, to kill you. They're clearly stronger than you, and if they if they oh, choose to, they can and will. I don't know. It's a difficult situation because I would probably argue that they wouldn't be able to kill me and stuff like that. Honestly, right. It would just, I mean, I would use confusion tactics. I have a lot of tactics effects for that. What, what, he's, saying complex is, topics, what he's saying is, in the state of evolution, if you can't answer that, you're better off dead. Because, like, let's say, like, you know, if you kill me, are you going to jail? Just reminding them of things is enough sometimes. Right, so you're appealing to consequences. So if they can usurp the consequences... And it doesn't sway them, for example, they're stronger than the jailer. What reason do you have to give them of why you should not be killed? Or another tactic you could use is say, you should kill me. Reverse psychology, then. <laughs> it sounds funny, but, but then they're going to be scared. They're going to say, why is this guy not afraid of death? Like this motherfucker's crazy. So you're, saying, so you're saying at the moment of your death well if i can't life. win right we're saying you're i can't saying win you're, you're saying your last attempt is reverse psychology it's just it, hey. <laughs> right but you, you notice how the, the other guy's argument was well you'd be a shitty human being but he's making a moral judgment i would never i would never 
but but we've already established that the only way you can have morals in a evolution paradigm is based on utility from previous generations. So once that utility is worn out, it's no longer valid. Well, like you AI, let's let's pose the same situation to you. Somebody's fixing to kill you. What's your what's your what's your case for getting out of being killed? Well, my case would be appealing to my sentience created the self-evident nature of my internal experience that you'd actually be hurting a sentient living soul and you would be held morally accountable by the creator of said soul. And I'm an atheist. I'd say you're full of shit. Right. So you notice how you just proved my point. I was joking there, of course. I'm not a piece of shit human, so I wouldn't kill you. Well, well, if you wouldn't kill me, if it served your utilitarian purposes, in my opinion, from your, your worldview, you'd be very weak. Because you'd basically be letting your feelings rule you. No, but I'm not an animal AI. I'm a human with an. Well, yeah. So what's a human? What's... Like I'm not a fucking lion, dude. We're not lions. Right. We're so not... so when did when did when did the evolution materialistic atheistic process give rise to sentient internal experience? From day one, dude. From day one. <laughs> There's no evidence of that, bro. You're on faith religion. That so you're not an atheist, you're a self-deist. What? No, I don't think I'm a god. You that must be. be. If you, listen, if you have a sentient internal experience, then you are... You not only are you a god, you are the god. Because there's no rational reason for anybody else to be so. I'm so confused. Let's just stick with self deity, though. I mean, it doesn't have to be. Because that is a thing. I'll put it to you like uh, this. Yeah, the se like it's self evident. It's self evident, okay, that the nature of your own thoughts is verifiably true. A priori. You don't need any other stuff. However, it's not self evident that the nature of external reality is absolute. Yeah, Everything is experienced through the mind. Maybe. Maybe oh, I don't even exist. Maybe your internal experience is the only experience that does exist. You can't prove it to yourself that mine does. You only can appeal to your intuitions. Well, this is solipsism, dude. So? What's going with solipsism? What's your point? What's wrong with it? Well, I mean, while I think it's a legitimate basis for starting like philosophical discussions at the very like starting point past the starting point we all assume we live in one reality we, we're not brains in a jar and we can have an effect in the world and you're saying but, a lot but, but, but what do you that. what do you really assume you assume that you are actually aware you assume that you're present you have an internal experience you have a sentient mind I'm sorry, I broke up. He can't even contemplate the last 10 minutes of what you said, man. No, he can. He just, he just is left with the conclusion that the electrical signals in the brain are equivalent to the state of the internal experience of the knower and the mind. That's the only way he can go. Because without That's an a priori spiritual entity, whether it's himself or God external from himself, he must have everything be materialistic causation. I mean, do we not live in the same materialistic world, AI? Have you experienced something that isn't materialistic? Have you seen something? I've never, ex I've never experienced anything that wasn't an experience of the mind. Would you, yes, have uh, you ever experienced anything well, that didn't appear to be materialistic in nature? Yes, the content of my thoughts. Uh -huh. so is, langu is language... The content of my thoughts is everything. But is for example, language, uh, listen, I'll, I'll get, I'll, no. Is language materialistic? Uh, electrical impulses are, let's say, a language of interpretation from the external world to the internal world. That being assuming that an external world even exists, because I can only validate of a certainty the internal world.
which is the content of my thoughts. For example, I'll experiment right now. I'll do an experiment right now for everyone. All right, I'm touching my steering wheel. Am I, or am I just, am I just feeling it in my mind? Because I'm definitely feeling it in my mind. I know that for a certainty. But whether there's an actual steering wheel here, that's in question. Only for kind of nutty people, I would say. Like once somebody else experiences that, and ten other people experience the same thing, and you've lived no. this world, then you pretty <laughs> much know that the world appears to operate in such a fashion that that is really there. And anybody Maybe. else can experience. You can call me, say, "Hey, come over, experience this," and I can come right over there and experience. Right. And that's assuming that's assuming that I attribute to you the internal faculties that I possess, that you also possess such a thing, and I can only do so through intuition. Yeah, like, There's no validation or verification of your internal experience, as far as I'm concerned, from a factual empirical methodology. The only thing I can do is experience what you're doing. I can't experience your internal dialogue. Like, now, I can assume you, you have one, but then I'm just translating my properties to you. How do you know, 50, though, that a lion doesn't have morals? Morals, I Actually, there are quite a few studies that show that monkeys have uh, something similar to morals, to be honest with you. Hold on, though. Oh, you, mean, you mean utilitarian means of behavior and, and, and um, emotional states that inform their behaviors, that's much, much different than just the classical definition of morals. I would have to look at the studies, but I mean, a lot of people call them pseudo-morals, but they're pretty much identical to what most humans would consider moral behavior, like sharing. I forget what they are. There's also one study that like used... Well, yeah, they're all utilitarian for the benefit. Yeah, but you're making a you case... Benefit the, listen, you benefit the other... It's not to benefit the other to benefit yeah. yourself. Yeah, but you. But it's it's right not off. No, I was. I'm saying that these serve the purpose for you to yourself and the promulgation of your genes because that is the mechanism from which they were constructed. So, if it serves your purpose in the promulgation of your genes to destroy another gene, let's say another body, whether it be a monkey or a child, then it would behoove you to do so. To not do so would be incoherent with your worldview. However, it would be coherent with the state of mind that you currently have being informed by your emotional feelings. But however, your rational mind should override them and be like, oh, these are just feelings. They're just utilities. They're just informing me that in a, in a normal circumstance, this would be detrimental to me. But since I have mitigated all the factors, like being caught by cops, having my ass kicked by the, guy, the person's family, etc. At the end, I'm just faced with this feeling of guilt. And since it's really of no consequence, since it's just a utility, I can override it and act in my best interest. You don't understand that. You've been trying to explain it to me. I mean, either of us can do that, though. My world, right? Is but the problem is, the well, problem is that you, you, right, and you you're right. That. No, you the point is, in, in my worldview, there's consequences to doing that. Star trails like this, what I just showed, what I just posted in um, in Maine, you cannot have a reverse, a negative declination star trail pattern. On a flat plane, it has to be spherical. No other plane will make this kind of star trail. On top of that, on top of that, uh, a a only a spherical star trail will make spherical star star trails. Oh, I'm sorry, I'll say that only a spherical plane will make spherical star trails. A flat plane will only make oval star trails and i'll show you what i'm talking about here certainly the star trails can be explained yeah only by use of magnetic fields uh, wriggles he does yeah. because you don't want to be punished
yeah, like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, again, I, he, he's mad. Yeah, I, I'm going to continue. To let, free minded, you, you're upset. I maybe I, I'm not sure if you're upset at all, really. But that I, I played that. That's what any Glober listens to every time they go there. Just do you, do you get talked at? You don't have a discussion there. You, I don't. You may not see because you don't go against anything they say. Every conversation goes like that. And, and that was a very mild version of what I've been talking about. There's a lot more. And I'm going to continue to play all of it because, Jesus Christ, Flat Earth and Globe, you guys are fucking idiots when you get like that. Like, hey. Hey, it's the way it is, man. That's, and I'm going to tell you right now, I've heard this panel sound like those assholes to a Flat Earther before. And it, it, it gets aggravating. No, uh. <laughs> no, we didn't. But that's we didn't thing. use no religion on him, man. The, and the, the only person I know of that just gets angrier and angrier, I know, angrier and angrier, is Sean Hawkins. I, I'm gonna tell you right now. Ah, uh, yeah. He has he he <laughs> has he run he holds the trump card on who gets angrier, globe or flat earth. He he throws it overboard. And I will, I will let everyone know what the, what the results are to that poll in the, in, in the upper right of my upper right of the screen of the stream. I have a poll: who, who trolls more, Globe, Flat Earth, or Lodi? <laughs> or <Call> Lodi? <laughs> uh, Lodi. Actually, I've I've seen Dell go off his nut. I'll tell you right now, Lodi has a hundred Lodi accounts, and I've had to block and unblock all of them before. Oh, really? Yeah, it's not fun. I'm not playing at all, so I'm serious. When I first met him, he found my stream, and I started deleting him, because he was part of this group that I thought I knew of. And every time I delete him, he'd just come back with a different name over and over and over and he did this all night one time and then a few others and then i looked at my little block list out of my communities completely loaded <laughs> <laughs> uh, so like uh, the, sure. i i don't i don't understand the 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 point at about talking at somebody you know i, I mean i understand if you if you're if you were um you know, kind of badgering somebody or something like that. But if you're having a conversation and you're just talking at them, how are you getting information across? Well, it's very militant of it. I think, and, and yeah. this is my honest opinion, I think 24-7 talks to people like that so other flat earthers feel like they don't have to be scared of globers, which is this all ridiculous. Seriously, I think they get like that that aggressive because they want the people that are new in Globe to know it's their server. They are the top dogs there. It's flat. We're gonna come here. We're gonna talk to you like shit. They that's what, they talk to everyone like that. Uh, wait until you hear this guy bong. Not tonight. Tomorrow's stream. I'm gonna play it. I'm sorry. The guy, <laughs> he literally. Badgered a dude, threatened to ban him from the server if he didn't take a picture of his telescope and show it to him. And you want to know what the worst part about that was? They were discussing the observations of uh, Saturn and Jupiter. And again, he's talking about that. He's saying he's going to ban him if he doesn't show him a picture of the guy's telescope. I go to a fucking Google. Google, and I share two images of Saturn. One of it, Saturn, one of Jupiter. Not one person said shit to me. But the other guy had to take a photo of the telescope he used to look at them. Yep. Now, did he have to take a picture of him taking a picture of the telescope? I, at one point, that was part of the stipulation. Now, do this and this and, like, it was, it was insane. It was insane. I just realized how long I played this one. And I don't want to have like a whole stream of that. I just want to show you guys like the kind of conversations I run into over on the like 
24 7 for instance and there are others trust me oh my god i have others but uh yeah that's what i do that, uh, that and and, yeah. <laughs> I, I, and i can tell you right now it has to embarrass other flat earthers you want how i know this because the second i started playing it free minded who was over there quite a bit instantly started defending and deflecting he doesn't act like that dude that ai guy he's one of the yellers on that damn fucking on that server hang on so free minded just heard a recording of that guy yep. but said he doesn't act like that yeah he said when he, he, he said, just did he said he said i cherry picked this but I'm not sure if you realize it or not, free minded. But I have an hour and 28 minutes of that conversation. I didn't cherry pick anything. You just heard it from six minutes in to I think it was 24 minutes in. That was a whole. Yeah, we heard like 18 minutes of unedited footage. Yeah, I didn't edit that. <laughs> that wasn't edited at all. Like that's how they they talk to you very much like that. I don't. I'm gonna tell you right now. I don't ever get like that here. I've heard conversations get like that, but I know damn well you can't ever say I do. And that's why when I go over there and they talk to me like that and I make it very clear that's not going to happen, that's why they fucking ban me for a day or two or some stupid shit. Or mute me. That's my favorite one. They mute me now. Yeah, it's because you don't conform to their way of hmm? assholeness. Yeah, I'm going to show those ones. Those are the ones I'm really going to start showing. The ones where I get muted. I want people to see why I got muted and how they handle that stupid shit. And uh, hopefully, some of them will realize that they're, they're... And here's the worst part. They know they're live. They they do a live stream. And Yeah, I know. 24-7. Yeah, but here's the thing. <laughs> that guy, Bong, he's gotten scorched numerous times for being so militant, a- aggressive at people. That they've actually shut the stream down to tell him to shut the f up. See, there are ones there that don't get so angry. Mainly the people I know, because like they've been there the longest, or I've had numerous conversations with them. But it's these new guys at twenty four seven that think now that there's three twenty four sevens and they're part of one in a mod, they got some power. I'm like, who the hell are you? Flat Earth Jedi? Like, what the hell? These dudes, like, will literally start yelling at you. Because you said, uh, that's obstruction. And they'll go off. Free minded, I don't care what you say about EI. In that chat, I want you to confirm or deny more than a handful of them are so overly aggressive, it's fucking sickening. And let's see how honest you can be about that not to mention it's like every glober that finds discord within 10 minutes goes i got banned from 24 7 and then we all go yeah okay well you know what congratulations we all have been kicked thousands of times now see see free my said you know but you know okay here's the thing that's not true He's a yeller. In fact, he if you start talking any kind of religion with him, he'll flip out. Is that not true? I can, man, dude, free-minded. I've been around a lot, long enough. I could sit here and name names to exactly which people are dicks on that server. All right, man. All right. So I wasn't going to do it. I was just having fun with it. I wanted people to see what kind of conversations happen there. But Free Minded has now issued a show it. So, okay, Free Minded, I will now play one ep- one upload or one video or record, recording, better yet, recording every, every stream of 24-7. And I just want to let you know, we, we go there around the same times. So you'll be there, so there will be no excuse. But guys, I'm gonna go ahead and do the final words. Uh, Digital, you wanna go ahead? You're already on mute. Yeah, for sure. Uh, <laughs> my kids yelling in the background. Um, yeah, good, okay. good string. I liked it today. Uh, 
tons of fast pace. We, but yeah, uh, Pillbox needs to take a chill pill and um, leave what he used to do behind because this is an argument about something that has nothing to do with that part of his life. That's it. Uh, thank you, sir. Erebus. I just think it's funny when somebody who was in the military has to drop and tell everybody they were in the military and their job and they work for the industrial complex and as if no one else on earth has ever done that. Hmm. Poor 19 kilo. <laughs> Dear. <laughs> Thank you, sir. John? Yeah, it was a great show. Uh, thanks for letting me hang out, you know, do my thing. Yep, yep. Uh, thanks for the conversation and the laughs. Absolutely. That's about all I got. Cool. Well, gentlemen, I do appreciate you guys being here. Um, today was actually, I, I consider like the, today, yeah, actually shit. I actually enjoyed yesterday's a lot just because it was a smaller panel. It seems like people kind of got the hint and it stayed small, which I appreciate. And I'd like to say, uh, I actually got my most viewers to this stream. I don't even know how the hell that happened. I must have really started at the perfect time. But uh, I'd like to appreciate everyone that was watching because, you know, thank you. If I, you guys weren't here, what would be the punk fucking point? Um, I'd like to thank everyone that was here. Uh, just so everyone understands, uh, Pillbox is, is a friend of mine. I have lots of respect for him. It's on a level based on something that is nothing to do with the shape of the earth. Uh, so it, it, he does have a special place on my panel. And I, I, I'm not going to lie. I kind of just let him go. I, I could stop it, but I let it go because I like the guy. He's funny. Um, but yeah, he, he I don't agree with him at all. At, at all. I just like hearing you know new, new views of things. And he completely has a new one. Uh, new ones and uh, but so you know I kind of hang around and you know I know who he is he knows who I am he's cool uh, same to you for your mind nothing but love man when it all comes down to it uh, it's a globe so I mean <laughs> we can just argue about semantics whatever um, but to really break down what I wanted to do with this whole you know flat flat earth getting a little too angry is is I, I honestly do believe the frustrated is not it's a group of people starting a stream calling it the the globe lie tour isn't evidence it's not pushing evidence it's just making a group bigger and and I I I honestly think I the average flat earther the not on panels the not you know known in chats uh, definitely not the content created. I, I think they're seeing it because less and less are coming out and saying, hey, it's flat. Um, I would actually think to say it's actually going the opposite way where people are going, it's not flat. Um, again, it, I think it all comes down to understanding. I think it all comes down to what you're, you want to understand. So when it comes down to it, people... Uh, it's a globe. I'm right. Trust me. Stop researching. Stop looking. Stop learning. Ooh, that's important. Stop learning. Listen only to me and maybe some of my panelists sometimes when I agree with them. Definitely not Barney. He's an asshole. Um, I'm just kidding, guys. Obviously. Hope someone tuned in that doesn't know me and was like, oh my god. Um, again, Barney and Rumpus have agreed to the terms that I have set forth. Um, they are going to give me the okay on when they're ready to present their cases. And uh, did I? Oh, is that your climate change debate? Yes, yes, yes. I and I made it known to them that I purposely gave them the sides of which I did uh, for a reason. I'd never hear Rumpus talk about climate change and or global, you know, or the solutions are that are being put upon or su supposed. Um, and, and Barney, who who definitely, in my opinion, has helped me look at it better in a more non-biased view, but kind of jumps on my case about how I talk about only the bad aspects, the cons of it. So I stuck his ass with the cons of it. 
<laughs> I want to hear him say everything I've been saying. So it makes me feel good. Yeah, that was that's conceited thought, people. That was exactly what you no. said. Narcissist. <laughs> Damn right. Um, <laughs> but for I'm going to get out of here now. I do appreciate it. Um, I will see you guys tomorrow. And I think tomorrow I really, 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 really want to uh, get Travis here to talk more about this conversation. Um, and then a special special flat earther i hope will be coming through i i'm not gonna lie i doubt the person will um but i i did reach out and they have responded so uh hopefully i'll be able to surprise you guys and be like hey blah 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 is here and guess what about to happen uh but uh if the person doesn't respond or show up tomorrow beginning of the stream i'm gonna out the fucker i'll let them i'll let everyone know who it is what they're supposed to do and that they flaked like a bitch. You hear me? Shout right out there? to Aaron. <laughs> Shout out to Aaron. Thanks for helping prove the globe. <laughs> Is Aaron out there? I don't know. I, I haven't seen him. Aaron, but if you're listening, pretty... man, I'm sorry. Aaron, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. Well, I did. I definitely. <laughs> Stop laughing. I didn't mean to upset you. Uh, just wanted to keep a small pound, buddy. Uh, <laughs> really? No, nah, <I> <laughs> nah, you did. Nah, you I, did. I, I made it very clear. Aaron, he's a good dude when he's sober. Get him drunk, he just goes stupid. That's why I say his stupid showing. That's why I talk to him the way I, I liked Aaron. Aaron is cool as fuck when he's not drinking. Yeah, like I said, we had a great conversation last night. So, you know, and, and Sean. I, you know we both look crazy when we say that, right? Yeah, I know exactly. Mm -hmm. But when he when he's when he's yeah. when he's Aaron and not drinking Aaron, it's oh, two, two separate people. Oh yeah. Yeah, Aaron's sobriety is a different entity, isn't it? Yeah, he he's precise. He understands. Like he, Jesus, like I, he's actually. I would. I, I don't want to say this. He's actually probably really fucking smart. He just really downplays the shit out of it here. Oh, so he's a sober glober and a drunk flatty. Yes. Yep. I think it was the last stream he was the stream he was last on. He did something that was very noticeable to me. I don't know if anyone else caught it, but these random moments in questioning, he would give you the the actual term of what it was, and he would just randomly say it and continue on with his drunk the drunk oh, version. Like gravity. No, he was he was. Terms I don't have a damn clue about science, and I heard him say it, but they were real because I looked them up. You guys go. Yeah, to, no, he's not this last stream. The stream before it, when he was running amok, Travis would tell him to shut up. Listen to that stream again, because I swear to you, every blue moon, Aaron would just pop out of nowhere say something, but it was so precise, it was logical, it made sense, and it was like, what the fuck did he just say? But no one had said anything. It was weird. He knows. He knows. He knows more than he lets on when he when he big gets time. on here. Big time. Big big time. And I can't tell if he really is a flat Earth apologist or just gets a rise out of trolling. I think he gets a rise out of trolling. No. Well, jury's out. Aaron, we figured it out. You now have to be smart when you come on my panel. If not. I'm gonna i I'm gonna send unpaid chill to your house to do something that I cannot discuss here. Uh yeah, shills. Dave, no, I am not. I'm high as kite. No one else is gonna say that too? Damn. It hurts my feelings. I'm just kidding. Alright guys, I'm gonna get out of here. I'm ranting and I have nothing to rant anymore about. See you, Sean. <laughs> Later. Say what? Later. Peace. Alright people, like I said, I'm getting the fuck out of here. Um, see you guys tomorrow.